All right. So, um, yeah, I've been given the go ahead and I hope my screen is visible. I am audible. So I'll just start uh, with the with the session. I'll just start with uh, basically telling you what I'm going to do uh, and uh, then we'll get going with the actual life solving itself. Um, so hello everyone. Welcome to this life solving uh, session event, whatever you can, you might want to call it. Uh, so in these events, what we generally do is we will uh, look at a test, which again, I would not have seen before. Uh, and then I would solve it live uh, with the camera on, uh, with the screen recording on. Uh, and I'll comment it on the entire uh, process. I'll, I'll comment it throughout the duration. I will try to talk throughout. Uh, but in case, uh, obviously, in case there is uh, something uh, where in, if there is a time crunch, uh, and if I am far behind where I should have been at that point in time, then I might go silent for a bit. But generally, it doesn't happen. Uh, thankfully, it hasn't happened till now. Uh, but you never know. So this is basically how it goes. Uh, I'll start the test. I'll uh, talk about it throughout. Uh, each question, I will try to think aloud as much as possible. Uh, whatever is going in my mind, I will speak aloud. And the whole idea is for you to understand what exactly goes or what exactly should go uh, through your uh, mind when it comes to actually solving a test, right? So sitting at one place for two and a half hours is not uh, a joke. Uh, and uh, obviously with the added pressure of the timer and uh, with the stakes that you have, obviously it's going to be much more difficult in your case. Uh, because in my case, I, I, I don't really want to get uh, admitted into any college, right? Uh, so, so I don't really have a lot of uh, consequences. Uh, when it comes to not doing well at a particular test, obviously reputation is one thing uh, which which precedes everything else. But uh, then again, it's not something that uh, I'm particularly worried about. Yeah, but in your case, obviously you will have a lot at stake, and uh, you will you will probably have uh, uh, again every moment, every minute will matter a lot. Uh, so what I do is I basically start with the test and I'll keep on solving it on one note. So I will have one small window that will be open uh, on the right side of uh, the screen that I will be sharing. And I'll be doing all my calculation rough work on that particular bit. Uh, and on the left hand side, I will have the test screen that will be visible to you. And I will basically be solving the entire test as we go. Uh, in terms of strategy, there are two things that I generally talk about uh, in this particular context. Uh, so one is uh, essentially what happens if there are sections that are present. Um, so over the last what, two years, uh, CET has been a sectionless test. Uh, so till 2020, they used to have uh, four sections, analytical reasoning, abstract reasoning, quantitative ability, verbal ability, reading comprehension. So there used to be four uh, sections that used to be there. Uh, but over the last couple of years, uh, since basically IBP has stopped conducting it, uh, they, it has basically been a one large 200 question paper. Uh, and what that has meant is you may or may not adhere to the number of questions per section. So sometimes it might happen that there might be 80 questions from quant. Sometimes it might happen that there would be 30 questions from quant, right? So that, that is always a possibility. Uh, but more or less, if you look at the average test that has been conducted, uh, more or less it has been along the lines of 50, 50, 75, 25, as they generally suggest, right? Um, so that is basically what I will have in mind. Now, if it is a mixed back test, then what we generally do is, or what I generally do is, I'll start with question one, go till question 200. Uh, wherever I find a question type or a question that is really difficult, it looks very long, it looks slightly uh, incomprehensible, then I will leave it at that point in time. I will be absolutely brutal in leaving questions. So although it's from uh, a topic that I am particularly fond of, I will not let my ego take over the decision. I will basically uh, make sure that I am I'm going away from the question as soon as I can. And I'll try to put in as many uh, genuine attempts as I can within the first one and a half, one hour, 45 minutes. That is basically the goal. Now, if obviously all the questions are easy, then it might get pushed to two hours, two hours, 10 minutes. But mostly one hour, 45 minutes is when we will go back to round two uh, or one hour, 30 minutes is when we will go out, go to round two. Uh, in round two, again, I'll pick and choose whichever questions seemed slightly reachable out of whatever questions are there. And that will basically be the second part. And towards the end, when there are five minutes, two minutes, three minutes left, I'll blindly mark uh, all the unattempted questions, uh, whichever option I feel like at that point in time. Sometimes it's C, sometimes it's B. I generally don't go for A or E, but again, I don't know. It's, it's superstition, right? Or uh, it's uh, subliminal messaging that I get from the test, right? So Bs are less frequently occurring. I'll go for more Bs. Cs are less frequently occurring. I'll go for more Cs. There is no one formula that exists, but you have to do it because there is no negative one. 
in a test with sections uh, what i will generally do is i'll go for the most difficult section first right and uh, that is purely because i like to get the difficult things out of my way as soon as i can and once that is done i am in for a treat right so i basically i am that kind of a person who wants to feel deserved when i get something right i don't want to feel that i'm doing the easy things first and difficult things are going to turn up at a later point in time so i'm dreading that i don't want to be in that situation i want to get rid of the difficult things as soon as i can so i generally start with the analytical reasoning the logical reasoning section uh, i'll do it for one hour i'll i'll let go of the section at 60 minutes sharp and then i will take up maybe visual reasoning uh, i'll try to do some visual reasoning questions that i can get out of my way around 15 to 17 of them generally i'm able to manage out of 25 then i will go for the verbal ability section and quant will come towards the end so the last even if i have 20 minutes to go and the entire quant section i know that i will be able to put in significant number of attempts i'm not saying i'll be able to do 50 on 50 but last 20 minutes i can sort of go for 30 ish attempts in quant right and i back myself to do those things so that's why i do that particular thing and there are i know a lot of other aspirants who do it the other way around they get rid of the easy questions as soon as they can uh, within one and a half hours, they'll finish one round of all easy questions, starting with their strongest section. And the last one hour that they have, they will have roughly 40 or 50 questions to go, uh, which will be the more difficult ones. And obviously, they will have more time to go through those 40 or 50 questions. Uh, so again, it depends on what you are comfortable with. You have to go through a few mock tests on your own uh, to figure out which strategy works for you the best. And obviously, we have a lot of mock tests that are a part of your courseware so I'm, I'm sure that uh, you would want to explore more as you go along right and uh, one thing obviously that i have observed and that you will also be seeing as we go ahead is uh, the fact that uh, i have very rigid techniques that i will use for question types right so if i have uh, let's say a symbol based um, comparison question so dollar implies that a is greater than or equal to b equal to sign implies that a is less than b star implies that a is less than or equal to b so those kind of questions that are there i have a very intuitive way of solving it. directions questions i'll read one i'll draw one so all these things come very intuitively to right and because i have been doing it obviously for a long time now uh, these things come naturally to me i don't have to start thinking about what will be the best approach after i read the question right uh, when i'm reading the question i'm more or less certain as to what exactly should be the way to go ahead right? uh, and that is essentially what what uh, you will be seeing over the next uh, couple of hours as well two and a half hours right uh, i'll try to do a short analysis to, at the end as well once i'm done with the test obviously it will be very late uh, we are assuming we will start in the next couple of minutes it will be uh, 10 minutes past 10 uh, that i will be done with the test and after that we'll do a 5 10 minutes quick analysis right uh, so that is what we have here uh, i am doing it uh, from my uh, system on zoom and you will obviously be able to watch it on youtube uh, so we have uh, prasad sir who will be handling the comments he, i'm sure he will be replying to your uh, queries even now uh, so that is one part that uh, will be there so if, if you have queries if you are commenting something i'm sure he will be taking care of those comments there right uh, what i have here is a fairly straightforward setup i have a laptop here with me i have a, a, a webcam that is there and i have this this short uh, writing tablet that is there which uh, you might have seen uh, people taking sessions on right so i can see exactly the same screen that you are seeing right now and uh, that this is basically something that i will keep on switching so sometimes i will look at my laptop screen wherein i'll be looking at it like this sometimes i'll be looking at my tablet screen wherein i'll be looking at the tablet so depending on the context if i'm solving something i'll mostly be looking at the uh, tablet if i'm reading something i prefer reading on the larger screen right so that's that's basically the the agenda for the day uh i'll start with the test uh you will see this resume button here but that is purely because i had tried to test if things work fine i didn't want to be surprised at 7 30. so that's why i just uh, opened the test and see so if it works or not uh, i haven't started the test i haven't launched the test but it's basically like this so i'll start the test and the timer will start from 150. uh i'll also try to accommodate my one note tab. Let me check once. So I think still visible, right? Okay. Uh, so this is basically the one note tab that I have. So I'll 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 draw on this thing. Let me just configure this bit once as well, because with the new one you never know um, which which question type will come when. 
Okay, let me just check once. I think it is this one. I hope. Yeah. Uh, too dark. Okay, too fancy, right? Okay, I think this is better. Let's see. All right, so if I get particularly annoyed, I might change the uh, thickness of the pen, but I, I think it's fine at this point in time. Yeah, so I'll just, okay, I'll just hide the video bit that I can see on my screen and we'll get good. All right, I'll just put it at the top and we will start with the test. All right, yeah. So yeah, we can see the timer. It's two hours, 30 minutes to go. I'll not be able to see this entire pane purely because if I increase the size of this, then achha, it still works. All right. If I do this, then I'll be able to see it. But because of this thing, I'll not be able to manage. All right. So let's, let's get it. All right. Um, 10 men can finish a piece of work in 10 days, whereas it takes 12 women to finish it in 10 days. Uh, 15 men and 6 women are working. How many days will it take? Yeah, so basically, we have 100 and 120. So let's say we are talking about 600 units of work. Uh, so 10 men can finish it in 10 days, 60 units per day. So 6 units per day is one man's contribution. 12 women in 10 days. So 60 units per day, 5 units per day is a women's contribution. Right? So 15 men will be 15 sixes are 90. 6 women will be 6 fives are 30. 120 units per day, 600 units. So 5 days, we should be sorted. Uh, in a college, there are 10 chess players. In how many ways can four of them be selected for the competition? It's basically 10 C4. So uh, 10 factorial uh, upon 4 factorial, 6 factorial. So 24, 24, 3 are 72, 210, I think should be the answer. Uh, two hockey teams, A and B are playing in the same tournament. Probability of team A winning the tournament is 4 by 9. B winning is 3 by 7. Neither of them win the tournament. Neither of them win the tournament, meaning complement of both. So 4 by 9 is the probability of winning, 5 by 9 is the probability of losing and is multiplication. 3 by 7 will mean 4 by 7 is a complement. So 20 by 63, I think, should be the answer. Okay, I hope I'm doing it correctly because I tend to go slightly faster in quant. Which of the following exactly divides x where x is the sum of the first 10 two-digit prime numbers. Okay, uh, first 10 two-digit prime numbers. Smallest prime number is 11, then 13, then uh, 17, 19, 23, 29, 31. 37, 41, 43. I hope I'm right. Uh, 2, 3, 5, 7, and 47. So, uh, 15. Yeah. Um, first 10, 29. Yeah. So, 11, 13, 24, 24, 17, 41, 60, 83, 29, 112, 143, and 180, 221, and 43 is 264. Yeah. 264 will be divisible by 3 and 4. So, 12, I believe, should be the answer. 16, 104 will not go. Yeah, I think it's 12. Let's see. Okay. okay. From the different words formed out of the letters in the word Allahabad, the number of words in which the vowels occupy only even numbered places. Okay. This is a tricky one. So, I have A, 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 and A, four A's, L, L, H, B, D. Yeah. So, this is what I have. So only the even positions, na? So five, six, seven, eight, nine is there, right? So uh, vowels should occupy only these positions. So all A's will fit here. So that is only one way. And I have one, two, three, four, five ways to put these consonants, but two of them repeat. So I should be able to do it in five factorial ways, but because to repeat divided by two factorial, I think it should be sixty. Um, not very sure, but I think I can go with. Yeah, uh, okay. In this question, two sentences are given denoted by one and two, followed by three groups of words labeled A, B, and C. Okay, three words are there. Uh, which of these groups of words can connect sentences one and two in the correct manner without changing group of words? Cannot, then none of these. Okay, fair enough. He has been facing innumerable obstacles. He has never given up. So although he's facing, yeah, uh, he has facing yet because nay. So A and B, I think, should be done. Uh, same thing. The opponents attack us, we will not attack them. Although they attack us, or even if they attack us, we will not attack them. Unless the opponents attack us, we will not attack them. I think A and C are both fine, I believe. C is obviously right. Uh, even if the opponents attack us, we will not attack them. But obviously, that logically, it might not be right. Okay, A seems, uh, sorry, only A is not there. So only A, if it would have been there, then that might... I've been more logical, I guess. 
but a and c i think seems fine uh same question you can borrow books from the library you can buy books from the library so either or uh, not only can you borrow but also yes uh, hardly no whether or whether or doesn't seem right right so only a i think seems right i'll go for that i was in so much pain i didn't want to get up in the morning yeah every day's problem i went to the football practice as usual so although okay nevertheless nevertheless is still fine uh, instead is not right therefore is definitely not right so only a or none of these is also fine because i would say i was in so much pain i didn't want to get up in the morning so although i was in so much pain i didn't want to get up in the morning i still went nevertheless i think seems fine yeah although nevertheless it is more or less it okay going out with jim has its own risks being with tom is easy as falling off a log is as easy as falling off a log um on the other hand is nice by comparison is also nice so b and c i'm i'm being very simplistic here i'm not getting into a lot of detail here uh cutting down on sugar will help you lose weight doing more exercise will help you get rid of few kilos both of them are the same hence should not be there though should not be right whereas is right but whereas signifies that they have to be opposite and again i am feeling very uncomfortable because none has not appeared till now so that is one thing at the back of my mind let me think about this for a second uh cutting down sugar will help you lose weight whereas doing more experience exercise will help you get rid of few kilos i like only b hence and those are definitely not right so only b or none i think whereas think okay, i'll go with only b i'll try to mark it as well let's see okay what is this uh, statement is given describes a certain situation followed by abc identify which most appropriately defines the situation or action okay, didn't understand let's see the increase in customs duty by the government has caused trouble to those car companies who were importing most of their car parts acha okay some phrases are there back against the wall seems to be good head over heels is like you are you are bending head over heels or you are falling for someone head over heels that kind of a thing so a i don't think is right that eliminates options 1 4 and 5 so only b only c are left upset the apple cart back against the wall the increase has caused trouble so upset the apple cart seems better back against the wall meaning that they are putting a tight spot uh, which might also be right in this case but the i'll go with el market right so let's see farmers are angry with the government of the day uh, up in arms yeah drive a hard bargain barking up the wrong tree might not be right so only a seems right uh, up in arms so basically you revolt in a way literally in a way. Uh, the sales team blamed the engineers for the organization's failure to back the mega deal but they were following the wrong course okay um but they were following the wrong course so barking up the wrong tree seems to be a good one because uh, barking up the wrong tree means that they are uh, blaming the engineers but they were following the wrong the so barking up the wrong tree seems right okay sequential output um so friend 46 win hearts 26 joker whatever so we have 1 2 3 4 5 5 5 and five, five words and five numbers and what is the final output okay different so friend gets changed uh, 1 2 3 4 5 and 5 here this i can see is in the ascending order uh, this again is in an ascending order but with one letter replaced okay so friend win hearts joker life so every word comes in the same order in the first step and every number is in the same order in the first step second step me what happens d goes here n goes here s goes here r goes here e goes here and uh, the number gets half acha okay the numbers are different oh sorry so the numbers get half 23 30 16 32 48 perfect then different elif and w is it okay so this is basically where you uh, rearrange the words except the last two so one basically you have arranged in terms of numbers 13 comes here 23 16 32 for it so one basically comes here one one word gets arranged in an ascending order uh, the words basically get arranged one at a time in an ascending order numbers get arranged one at a time in an ascending order 
Then finally you get R here and 13, 23, 16, 16 comes to 23, 13, 14. Yeah, perfect. Understood. So one at a time, I think the jump will happen for both the words and the letters and this one, uh, this thing will change. Understood. What will be the final output for the following input? Okay. So Ikea furniture shines beautiful exquisite. So the first one should be um, A, E, S, L, E. So A should be the first one. So I, K, I, K should be the first one. Alike is definitely not right. So three is out. Uh, five ticket. Let's keep it for this at this point in time. So E, F is there and E, E is there. So E, E will be better. So E exquisite. So one is still fine. Uh, two is definitely wrong. Um, four is still fine. Then the next bit is E for me tour. Yeah. So one is gone. E for me tour. Uh, two is not there. Four and five are left. Right. So E for me tour is there. Uh, then uh, I'll just go for it. Beautiful shines. Right. So beautiful is L beautiful. Shines is S shine. Yeah. And we'll have 12. Uh, sorry. Six. Six. 21. 27. 38, 42. Yeah, I think 4 is right. Understood. Um, second, from the left, in the third step for the following input, okay? So the first step will basically be all words together, all numbers together. Second step will be changing the uh, this thing and halving this thing. And the third thing will be one arranged, right? So the first one will definitely be there. So this is the same input, yeah? So A, E, um, A, E, I, K. Okay, second from the left. Okay, so A, E, I, K will be the first one. And then furniture will, um, furniture, E, F is there, E, E is there. So exquisite will be there, E, exquisite. Yeah, this one should be there, right? Because one thing will move, right? Uh, so in the second step, you will have E for need, E for need tour, step two. Step three, you will have one element moving to the left. So E, exquisite should be, yeah, I think it's right. Final output of the following input. Oh, we had done this already, right? Okay, let me think. So uh, step one is definitely uh, nothing. It's rearrangement. Step two is basically again rearrangement. Uh, step three basically will have uh, A, which will be here as it is. Uh, e, e will be here, followed by E, F, followed by S, S, followed by uh, L, P. Yeah, L, B. Yeah. So this will basically be my third step. In terms of numbers, I will have uh, six will basically come here, followed by 21. 42, 27, 38, right? So this will be my third step. My fourth step will essentially be A, E, E, F, F. Uh, sorry, E, F will remain as it is. L, B will come here. S, S will come here. 6, 21, 27, 42, 38 will be my fourth step. Fifth step, there's nothing that needs to be changed in terms of the words. But in terms of the numbers, 28 will precede 42. So I think fifth step should be the one which will be the final output. Not very sure. It's a messy bit, but okay. I'll, I'll make do with whatever I have here. Yeah. Uh, step two for the following input. Step two basically will mean that all the words will be at the same position in the same order, but this thing will be there. So D W O L uh, D W O R L. So this is common across everyone. Um, uh, A will not come here. S I will basically be the second one. So this is one is out. Four is out. Um, L wonderful. L wonderful. L wonderful. Sorry, I hope I'm right. Second, third, and fifth, na? Okay. Uh, okay. Achha, A will be the third one, right? So this is out. A should be my, this one. This should be, this is fine. L wonderful, L wonderful. E plaque, E plaque. E plaque should be there. Place. I hope it's place. Yeah, place, so E plaque. So five should be my answer. And uh, this one, if you look at it, um, it should be four, nine, um, four, nine, 19, 22, 37. Yeah, this is right. Which will be the final output for this one? Okay, that's a right painful question, but it gives us marks. Yeah, so step one is the same, step two is the same, step three, we will basically have to rearrange something. So step two, I will have D S I A. So A will basically be my first word, uh, then followed by D W, followed by S I, followed by L W, followed by E P. Yeah, that's this will be my third step. And in terms of the uh, numbers that we have, it will basically be four is as it is. So that will remain wherever where it is. Um, 8, 18, 38, 40, it's already in the same uh, this thing, right? So 4, 9, 19, 22, 37. So the numbers are already arranged. We don't have to worry about the numbers, only the uh, words. So A is here, D is here, EP will come here. Uh, in the fourth one, SI and LW will be there. Then LW will also have to come. So fourth may EP will come, fifth may LW will come, fifth is basically the last.
I hope I'm right. Let's see. Step four, uh, fourth element from the left end, right? So A, D, W were there. Uh, e, P will come, for S, I. S, I should be there, the fourth element from the left end. Step four. Some DIY question. Let's see. So 15 minutes, 20 questions. We are on track. Uh, two pie charts, breakup of students, various UG courses, breakup of all students, whereas the second, achha, two pie charts are there, breakup of only female students. Okay, so 32, 43, 55, 62, 89, 1100, yeah. So this is 100% of female students, this is basically total students. Okay, 32, 53, 66, and 34, yeah, I think it's right. Okay, let's see. What is the ratio of, uh, is there something else given? What is the ratio of number of male students pursuing law to the number of female students pursuing basic science is the ratio of number of, okay, 13 and 9, 22 is the ratio of male to female. Okay, I have to write down the numbers here, now. Let's see. So, let's see. Uh, number of male students pursuing law. It's better if I take numbers. So, 39 is 22. So, let's say there are 2200 students in the college. Uh, number of male students pursuing law. How many people are pursuing law? 2200. So 1200 should pursue law. No, nee, sorry, not 1200. Uh, 12 into 22. So 240, 24, 264. So 264 people should be pursuing law. Uh, and uh, the number of female students is 900. So 900 may say how many are lawyers? 11% are lawyers. So 11 nines are 99 are females who are pursuing law. Male pursuing law will be 165. 165 will be what? 15, I think, is one of the answers that I'll go for. 17 say divisible. Nahi hai. 11 or 15 might be my answer. So let's see. Chalo. That's not an indicator. Sometimes I do these kind of things to eliminate options. So I know that it's either of uh, two or four. Okay, let's see. Uh, may, to the number of female students, nahi, sorry, a female student pursuing basic science. So basic science is 13. So 13 into 22 is 260 plus 26, 286. Uh, 286 are female students. Um, Female students, basic science. So, 7. 7 nines are 63. So, 165 is to 63. I hope I'm not making a mistake. Uh, 3 ones are, 3 fives are 15. 3 fives are 15. 3 21s are 51 to 21. Something I made a mistake. Let's see. So, total is 900. 7% is basic science. So, 63 will be the number of females in basic science. Number of male students pursuing law. Something I messed up, I don't know what I messed up. Ratio of number of male students pursuing law. So male students pursuing law, 11 out of 9, 900 is 11 nines are 99. That part is fine. Uh, people pursuing law is 12 out of 2200. Uh, so 12 twos are 24. 264 is right, I think. 264 may say 99 are females. So 165 have to be male. So that part is still fine. Uh, females pursuing basic science. Okay. Okay, basic science, let me check once. 13 to the two, uh, 286, we said, right? 286 are these things. Emails pursuing basic science. Seven nines are 63. 55 and 21 to 11, 537 are not divisible. I don't know. I'll remember. Sad, I should have got it. I don't know what I made. What mistake I made. Okay. How many streams have more female students than the main male students if the ratio of male to female is 11 is to 8? Okay. So 1100, 800 will give me 1900. So law, humanities, basic sciences, commerce, applied sciences, healthcare. Uh, okay, law is 12. 19, 12s are 90 and 38 is 228. Um, 22 into 19 is a very difficult question to answer. 440 minus 22 is 418. Um, 13 into 19 is 256 minus 9, 247. Yeah, I think so. Commerce is 21 into 19. So 19 uh, less than this. So 399 and uh, applied science is 17 into 19, 324 minus 1, 323. 15 into 19 is 289 minus 4, 285. Yeah, so I did a square minus b square. 
Okay. So what did we get? We got got a lot of silly stuff, right? Uh, 800 women are the female candidates are there, right? So 800 law will be 11 eights are 88, 27 eights are 216, 7 eights are 56, 12 eights are 96, 11 eights are 88, 32 eights are 256. Okay. Uh, more female than male, so more than half. So law is definitely out. 216 is more than half. So yes, 56 is less than half, 19 less than half, 88 less than half, 256 more than half, so two. Okay, number of male students or female students in the college is 7 is to 4. Will this work? Will not work. Male to female is 7 is to 4. So 700, 400. Okay, pie chart on the basis of number of male in the uh, six courses. Male in the six courses. What will be the share of the male law students in this pie chart? Oh, okay. So 700 male students are there. And the law may be able to figure out how many males are there. So law may how many people are there in the first place? 11 into 11 into sorry, 11 into 12 is 132. Yeah. So 132 people are uh, doing law. And in terms of females, 44 females are there. So basically we have 88 males. 88 males out of 700 into 360. I hope I am right. Okay, so 36 into 88 by 70. 36 eights are 288. 36 eights are 288. 12 16 3 1 6 8 by 7. 4 is 28. Uh, 36 5 is 35. 45 point something. I think this is the answer. 18 now, 2 is 46. 5 is Okay. Yes, how many students are doing graduation in law? If 253 female students are pursuing graduation in applied science, applied science is 253. So 11, 2s are 33, 23, right? So female students are 2300. I hope male to female is 5 is to 4. Okay. Oh, 4. So 4, 5 is 575. 575 into 5. So add 575. So 2875. I think this is right. Uh, graduation in law will be, achha, if I add both of them, 12%, no? Okay, let me see. Chalo. 75, 8, 3, 11, 2, 2, 4, 5, 1, 7, 5, into 12 by 100, 25, 4s are, 25, 2s are, 25, zeros are, 7s are, 4, 3s are, 12, 6, 21. Should you answer? Yeah, I think not. If it's there, the option, mostly it will be right. Yeah, number of male students uh, pursuing the course for which the number of female students is the least to the number of female students. Total number of male is to female is 7 is to 3. So let's say males are 700, females are 300. So what is the question? Male for which male, number of females is the least. Number of females will be least for the least percentage as well, right? Oh, I'm so sorry. So basic science is what we're talking about, right? So 7, 3 are 21. Achha, 21. So if 21 people are pursuing basic science, then how many males are pursuing basic science? Okay, 13, uh, 130 may say, 130 may say 21. So 109. So 109 males. 109 is a very awkward number because it does not, it's it's a, it's a prime number, I'm guessing. I don't know. What did I do? So basic science is 13. So 7 is to 3. Uh, so 1000 students are there. 130 students have to do basic science. That part is clear. Uh, in terms of female students, 7% is the lowest. So 7 threes are 21. So out of 130, 21 are uh, these things, uh, female students. So 109 has to be this one. So the number of female students pursuing the male students pursuing the course for which the number of female is least. Huh? Female pursuing the goal, number of males is the highest. Again, I don't know what is the mistake that I made. I, if it's approximate, then I don't know. But let's see. Chalo. Number of male students is the highest. Okay. I'll have to take some guesswork. I'll have to do some guesswork here. So I need something which is significantly higher in terms of overall percentage, but less in terms of female representation. Uh, commerce is 21, 12. Basic science is 13, 7. Okay, I'll, I'll write this in fact. Let's see. This is a, this seems to be an easy question. I'm making some mistake somewhere. Uh, 120, 220, 130, 210, um, 170, 150. And in terms of the female candidates, it's uh, into three, right? So 11, 3 is a 33, uh, 
27 threes are 81, 7 threes are 21, 12 threes are 36, 11 threes are 33, 32 threes are 96. Yeah, I sometimes I'm not able to read my own handwriting. Okay, not very disastrous. 2, 10, right? Okay, number of maze should be the highest, right? So we are talking about 87. Uh, we are talking about much greater than 87. So 139, uh, definitely not 139. Um, 174, uh, definitely not 174, definitely 174. So 174 is the highest. So this one we're talking. About. Um, yeah, 109 and uh, 36. So 3 is to 1 is what I think. Approximately 3 is to 1. Average number of male students if the college has total of 87 and 33. This we had done, right? I hope we had done this. No, we haven't done this. Achha, 87 and 33 in the law course. So law course is 12%, uh, 87, 33 is 120, so 10, 110, 1000 students should be there. Average number of male students per course study in the college. Okay, females will be able to get, right? Uh, 33 females, so 11, 3 are 33, so 300. So 700 divided by 2, by 6. Okay. Okay, again, 6, 1 are 6, 1 are 6, 40, 6, 6 are 36, 46. 116.6, 7 I'm hoping because 116 is not there. I'm still happy. Okay, visual reasoning. So I have to switch on, switch off very quickly. I wasted some time in that set and I didn't know one question as well. That is slightly disappointing, but let's see. Let's get ahead. Um, okay, number doesn't fit into the series. Okay, so star will go ahead by one, two, three places, two places, one, two, three, four places, one, two, three places, one, two, three places, one, two, three places. So everywhere it's going ahead by three places. So one, two, three, either one, one, two, three should have been here. One, two, three. Yeah, this one is wrong. Two is wrong. Uh, and white, black, white, black, white, black, white. This is fine. Yeah? So it should have been here. Then that three wala pattern should have been. Here. Okay, uh, same thing does not fit the series. Okay, so we have one thing going here. Next one, it becomes ulta. This is like this. So it goes like this. This seems to be the mirror image. This one, some difficulty. This one, a uh, mirror image. Yeah, so this outer one, this is a mirror image of each other. These are mirror images of each other. These are mirror images of each other. What is the transition between this one and this one? That will, or this one and this one will have to check, right? So it goes one, two, three clockwise or one anti-clockwise. It goes one anti-clockwise. Now this would have gone one anti-clockwise. It would have been like this. So this is the culprit. This should have been like this. And then like this, it should have been. Na? This, this, this. So it should have been pointing downwards. Then one clockwise. Then ulta. Then one anti-clockwise. Yeah, I think it's clockwise, anti-clockwise. In any case, I think three seems to be wrong. Okay, not waste time on this. Okay, one arrow, two arrow, three arrows, four, five, six, seven. Okay, one up, one down, one up, two down. Then again, I'm adding one to the left, then I'm adding one to the right, then I'm adding, I think somewhere we are adding two consecutively. Na? So one I'm adding to the uh, one I'm adding to the left, then one to the right, then one to the left, and I should have added to the right. So this is wrong, I think. I should have added one here and then again. I think this is right. Uh, circle will go same thing. Series. Yeah. Yeah. Circle goes from here to here. Then again goes here. Then again comes here. Then again goes here. Okay. So it goes forward or goes backward one. Forward one. Backward one. Forward one. Nee, I'm messing something up. Backward. Forward forward, backward, backward. So this is something is off here, right? So if this goes backward first, then forward, then it should have gone backward, then forward, then backward. Then again, it goes back. That is not the logic. Okay. Plus is basically nicely dancing here, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. That is fine. Circle is the issue, right? So it's going one place behind, three places ahead, three places ahead, one place ahead, one place ahead, one place. Hey, this is the easy one. Yeah. 
uh, it's going in the clockwise direction. So one, one, this will be, this should be here. So two is out. Sometimes I do some stupid things in life. 45 degrees, 90 degrees. This should be 45 degrees. I think it should be like this. Then this 90 makes sense. Then 45. Unless I'm missing something grossly. I think I'll go for this. So 45, 90. Unless we're talking about 135. 135, 180. Ooh, this is fine, right? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Left corner is black, left corner is black, right corner becomes black, right corner becomes black, left corner becomes black, right corner becomes black, right corner becomes black. Right corner becomes black. So left, left, right, right, left. Right, right. Did I mess something up? So 45 like this, then 90 like this, then another 90 like this, and another 45. So 135. Then the entire thing becomes like this. So 180. Then 225 is basically like this, and then some more. So that inverted part is fine. I don't know if I look at mirror images, this mirror image is not this one because black needs to be on the left here. This mirror image is fine. This mirror image is also fine. So blacks and whites have to be at the same place. So either two or five is off. Okay, if it is not off, let's say. So left, left should have been left, right, again left. So left, left, right, right is fine. Left, left, right. Yeah, I think five is wrong. I think five is wrong. Not, not sure. Okay, series. So two, three, eight, twenty-seven, one, one, two, five, sixty-five. So this is into two minus one into three minus one into three plus three. Twenty-seven fours are into four plus four into five plus five. Okay, into one plus one into two plus two into three plus three and so on. Yeah. So um, e into one plus one. So six um, six twos are twelve plus two fourteen fourteen threes are forty two plus three forty five forty five fours are one eighty plus four one eighty four one eighty four fives are. 184 fives are 920 plus 5, 925 should be the answer. Should be the answer. Yes. Uh, 50, 50, 61. Okay. So plus 1, plus 4, plus 24, 25. Okay. So 1, then 4, 25, 4, and 81. Hmm. Uh, yeah, uh, difference between the numbers are square. Yeah, so five and six difference is one, so one square. Five and seven difference is two and two square. So two and seven, uh, five square, twenty-five, fifty-two, fifty-two plus nine, sixty-one plus twenty, uh, fifty-two uh, plus nine, sixty-one, sixty-one plus twenty-five, eighty-six, eighty-six plus four, ninety. So eighty-six, third number. Uh, see, I hope I'm right. Okay, this is something that should be done easily. Let's see. Uh, taken to be true, logically follow from at least two statements, right? So a single statement will not work. So all taxis are cars. Um, some trucks are cars. No buses are trucks. Yeah. Uh, some taxis are trucks. May or may not be true. No buses are taxis. May or may not be true. Some cars may be buses. May or may not be true. So bus, taxi, cars, buses, right? Okay. Some cars, maybe buses, so none follows, right? Either or, so there is no statement, right? So none follows. 
okay all men are smart good for us all women are smart good for them no demons are men so kuch bhi ho sakta hai some demons are smart so this is perfect okay so i can easily see two and four no women are demons and some women are demons and uh, either or hona chahiye for sure is there an option there is not an option okay now i'm not very sure because no and some generally are complements of each other so either or is typically what happens let's see okay all smart may be demons all smart may be demons not possible so 3 is definitely not right so option 2 is gone option 5 is gone theek hai um no demons are smart not necessary so one is definitely out so option 1 is gone now i'm left with none follows or only four follows some women are demons uh, may or may not be true so i think it is none follows I, it would have been very nice if it would have been either two or four that would have been a good option i guess but pata nahi let's see some doctors are pediatricians yeah all pediatricians are gynecologists some gynecologists are obstetricians theek okay? hai so some pediatricians or obstetricians may not be true no pediatricians or obstetricians some or none so one either one or two should be there yeah, this is where we can see right so option 3 i think is right mostly even though seeing option 3 some gynecologists are doctors definitely true and some obstetricians are doctors yeah so i think this is right some cricketers are gamblers uh, no gamblers are footballers some footballers are wrestlers okay no gamblers are wrestlers may or may not be true some wrestlers are not gamblers so some wrestlers who are footballers are not gamblers so two is right so options 2 4 and 5 are right i don't know 2 4 and 5 are right yeah um some gamblers are wrestlers some gamblers are wrestlers may or may not be true um some cricketers are not footballers so some cricketers who are gamblers are not footballers yeah so four is also something that seems to be right so two and four i think should fall i hope i'm right yeah you'll see you'll listen to me saying that a lot of times some rocks are stones some glass are rocks some boulders are rocks all glass are pumice some pumice are boulders may or may not be true no stones are glass can't say can't say some pumice are stones may or may not be true may or may not be true and uh, some rocks are not glass some rocks are not glass how can we eliminate that some rocks are not glass there is no none that has been given na, in any of these so some rocks are not glass is also a possibility or it need not be true so i think none follows for a long time none follows has not been in our so book again i am more confident samuel johnson remarked something what does this phrase mark twain took this further okay seems to be a shorter passage i will go for it later let's not get tempted buffeting in the last sentence of the passage i'm buffeting kya hota hai let's see where is the last sentence this title is taking okay oh sorry this the title is taken from wolf encore who confined to bed and watching the sky beyond her window found herself mesmerized by this incessant making up of shapes and casting them down this buffeting of clouds together buffeting is basically an aggregation kind of a thing harrowing pattering tormenting and colliding colliding still seems fine harrowing i don't think is right battering might be right so a and d is what i will go for tormenting again i don't yeah a and d seems right what is this same thing right based on paragraph 1 okay i think it's an easy passage i'll i'll definitely do this at some point in time definitely not now is the most likely like extract from a biography of virginia wolf okay i'll i'll take this one oh vicissitude the editors note that weather is all mutability and vicissitude least suitable right so unpredictability and fickleness basically mean the same thing i think so maybe not uh metamorphosis also means change in a way so no 
geniality and reversal also means change. I think geniality should be the other. Hmm. Not very sure. Okay. There are a lot of questions in this one. I, I should, I'll definitely solve this. What is this? Four can be identified the odd one out. Okay. So this is something similar to cat. Okay. So let's see. 47. Hmm. Uh, Amazon and its leader make news for its for the contributions to the fight, to fight it, the fight against climate change, plastic repackaging used by Amazon floods, municipal waste systems, and a part of it pollutes waterways and seas around the world. The impressive donation is coming from a 10 billion fund. Which 10 billion donation? I don't know. Uh, climate change pledge, one swallowed by plastic can obstruct Bezos donating. So yeah, so Bezos uh, announced that he would be donating 791 million dollars. Uh, impressive donation is coming from 10 billion fund which has been set up so five two seems to be a good pair mm. unfortunately as amazon and its leader so five to one seems to be good and uh, four also seems to be good i think three should be the one that is wrong so the idea is the one sentence that is they are donating out of a fund but the uh, Amazon and its leader are causing plastic wastage and that leads to marine animals ka laceration and stuff. Laceration. I think it is okay. Okay. Cast. Mm. Okay. Uh, this is what I was talking about initially, right? So neither smaller than nor equal to. Okay. So A percentage B means A is neither smaller than or equal to. So A greater than B. So A is greater than B. Uh, B hashtag C. B, B is equal to C. Uh, C raised to D, C is not less than, so C is greater than or equal to D. Yeah, so this is basically level, right? I write it in one line. So A, uh, is, A is greater than or equal to D should be true. So one is true. B percentage D means B is greater than D uh, might not be true. So only one is correct. So only one conclu conclusion, one is true. Yeah, P dollar Q dollar means less than or equal to. So when it's less than or equal to, I'll put Q is greater than or equal to B. So P is less than or equal to Q, Q is greater than or equal to. Uh, Q and R means Q is less than R. So R is greater than Q. And S percentage R means uh, S is greater than R. So S greater than R. So it will look like this. S greater than R, greater than Q, greater than equal to P. So S percentage P means S is greater than P, which is definitely true. So one is definitely right. Um, R raised to P is R is greater than or equal to P. So, nay, R is definitely greater than P. It cannot be equal to P. So, I think only one is correct again. So, let's see. Um, whenever I get two consecutive same answers, I generally get suspicious, but okay. now I don't have time to be suspicious. Uh, w dollar X dollar is less than or equal to so X is greater than or equal to W. Um, y percentage X means Y is greater than or equal to X. Yeah, and Z percentage Y, uh, Z is greater than or equal to Y. So everything is greater than, so greater than B or equal to B or So Z percentage X means uh, Z is greater than X. Yeah, so they, they, which we can't say for sure. And um, Y hashtag W, Y is greater than W. Again, we can't say that. It could be equal to as well. So neither follows. Y, Y. Um, a hash B, A is equal to B and uh, B is not less than C. So B is greater than or equal to C and C hash D, C is equal to D. Yeah. Okay. So D dollar A, uh, D is not greater than A. So A is less than or equal to D. Sorry, D dollar A means D is not greater than. So D is less than or equal to A. D is less than or equal to A. So yeah, one is right. And A raised to C means A is not less than C. C is greater than or equal to A. Hmm. A is not less than C. A is not less than C. So A is greater than or equal to C. Which is true. Yeah. So both of them are true. I have a bad feeling about this one, but Let's see. A revolving tray has eight slots, oregano, chaat masala, mustard sauce, tomato ketchup, salt, mayonnaise, honey and mixed pickle. Not really the set that I should be solving at this point in time. Mixed pickle is diametrically opposite to salt. Okay. So mixed pickle was diametrically opposite to salt. Chaat masala is not next to tomato ketchup. 
mayonnaise is next to oregano honey is next to mixed pickle on the left honey is next to mixed pickle on the left so left of mixed pickle okay uh, which in turn is not next to chaat masala oregano is not next to honey tomato ketchup is next to salt on the left tomato ketchup mayonnaise is third on the right of chaat masala okay mayonnaise is third on the right of chaat masala so chaat masala can't be um, can't be here chaat masala can be here chaat masala can't be here chaat masala can be here so two for chaat masala abhi let's see what happens let's see i put chaat masala here theek hai um chaat masala is not next to tomato ketchup acha so this is wrong. so this has to be one so one has to be there right zero to nahi ho sakta okay oh sorry we'll have to solve this i thought it was a standard one question so chaat masala should be here um mayonnaise sorry mayonnaise is third on the right of chaat masala so 1 2 3 this is mayo theek hai uh, mayo is not next to oregano so oregano will be here and what is left mustard sauce ठीक है और ऑप्शन ऑफ मस्टर्ड सॉस म्यूनिस मस्टर्ड सॉस म्यूनिस आर एडजेसेंट टू इच अदर हनी एंड टोमेटो केचप आर ऑपोजिट टू इच अदर चाट मसाला एंड म्यूनिस आर नॉट एडजेसेंट टू इच अदर ओरिगेनो चाट मसाला ओरिगेनो एंड चाट मसाला आर एडजेसेंट टू इच अदर मिक्स्ड पिकल एंड सॉल्ट आर ऑपोजिट टू इच अदर सो इधर देयर ऑपोजिट और देयर टुगेदर सो चाट मसाला म्यूनिस इज द ओनली थिंग आई थिंक या सो चाट मसाला इफ इट्स हियर म्यूनिस is here that doesn't make sense right mustard sauce mayonnaise mustard and mayonnaise are adjacent to each other honey tomato ketchup are opposite to each other uh, oregano chaat masala are next to each other mixed pickle and salt are opposite to each other so it's either opposite or together i'll just check once if i am right um, mixed pickle is diametrically opposite to salt that is correct uh, chaat masala is not next to tomato ketchup chaat is not next to tomato correct mayonnaise is mayonnaise is next to oregano oh it's next to oregano Okay, so this last part was wrong. So oregano and mayo. Okay, I don't think it's wrong. By the way, my my answer is not wrong, honestly. So uh, this is fine. Uh, honey is next to mixed pickle on the left, which we done, which is not next to chaat masala is perfect. Oregano is not next to honey is perfect. Tomato is to the left of salt, uh, next to the salt on the left. Yes, mayonnaise is third to the right of chaat masala is perfect. Yeah, this is perfect. So I'll just check the previous one as well. If I made some mistake, there is only one arrangement possible. Uh, find the odd option out. Mustard and mayonnaise. So mayo and uh, I don't know what I've written. This is mustard, right? Yeah, I surprise myself at times. Honey, tomato, ketchup is fine. Oregano, chaat masala is fine. Mix pickle, salt is fine. All of them are opposite to each other. Correct order of items. Okay. So mayo, oregano, mixed pickle. Mayo, oregano, mixed pickle is not right. Honey, chaat masala, mustard sauce is correct. uh tomato ketchup mustard sauce not right uh chaat masala oregano not right mustard is next to salt and uh, chaat masala diametric opposite to mayonnaise is the mustard honey is kept in the place of salt okay honey is kept in place of salt salt is kept in place of mayonnaise Mayonnaise is kept in place of honey. Eh, sorry. Okay. Also, the place of mixed pickle and oregano are interchanged. Okay. Which of the following is next to mustard sauce? Now, where is mustard sauce? Mustard sauce is as it is, right? so honey and uh, chaat masala let's see. some pace i think we picked up yeah a right angle triangle has sides 8 and 16 a circumcircle is drawn passing through the three vertices of the triangle what is the area of the circle outside the triangle sides 8 and 16 now we know we don't know which one is which one right hmm theek okay, hai let's assume So eight and sixteen. If it's there, then sixty-four um, and uh, twenty-six, forty-four, three twenty. Root three twenty will be sixteen into twenty. Sixty-four into five. Sixty-four uh, into five. Sixty-four into five. 
so eight root five. Root five is two point two, I think. Okay, it's becoming slightly complicated. So eight point eight. Um, so two point five root five is two point two. Now the hypotenuse will be uh, eight into two point two. The radius will circumradius will be four into two point two. So eight point eight is the circumradius. Area of the circum circle will be twenty two by seven into eight point eight into eight point eight minus half into eight into sixteen. Um, so sixty four minus sixty four. Okay, should I be doing this question or not? I don't know. Eighty eight square is seven seven four four to seventy seven point four four into twenty two by seven. I just cancel this seven on the seven on the seven zeros are seven sixes are forty two twenty seven approximately threes are twenty two threes are sixty six six are one thirty two six one thirty eight one uh, three two two forty three point three eight six minus sixty four. Okay, I messed up something, but okay, sir. Two forty three minus sixty four is what twenty one minus one seventy nine one seventy nine point three eight. I think I missed. Why don't I go for this? I am not sure, or maybe sixteen was supposed to be the hypotenuse. I am not sure. So two fifty six minus sixty four will be one ninety two. Again, a good number. Sixty four into two root three. I got eight root three. What will get the third side? Eight root three. Now one point seven three. One point seven three into eight into eight root three. This seems to be a more friendly. Um, one point seven into sixty four. One zero two zero sixty eight. One zero eight point eight something. I'll get minus one zero eight point eight. No, I'll mark this and I'll see. Okay, monthly income side the ratio three is to seven, and the expenses side ratio one is to three. Each one saves two hundred. Difference in the incomes of A and B. So three A minus B is two hundred. And seven a minus three b is two hundred. So I will be able to say I I think I should be able to manage this. The difference is the same, na? So this should be two is to six. Four four ka difference chahiye, right? So one ka difference is two hundred annual income. So one ka difference is two hundred. Um. So one ka difference is um uh, two hundred. Four ka difference is eight hundred. Eight hundred will is nine thousand six hundred. This is a popular shortcut. I can solve this as well, but okay, so let it. Uh, I'll have to multiply it by six. Yeah. So two threes are six, three are nine, two sixes are twelve, five twos are ten. Am I right? Into six, right? Six, two, three. I think it's right. Yeah. So share of the second vertical is twelve by thirty-one into seven seven five zero. Okay. Thirty-one twos are sixty-two one. One fifty five, right? Two fifty. Twelve to two fifty. Ah, uh, three thousand. Okay. A takes two more hours. Two hours more than B to walk D kilometer. If A doubles his speed, then he can make it in one hour less than B. How much time does B require to walk in D kilometer? Okay. So A doubles his speed. Ah, uh, if A doubles his speed, then his time becomes half. Ah, uh, but the gap is three. So half is three. Four is by three, right? Two hours more, one hour less. So three half is three. Originally should have taken six hours. Uh, originally B should have taken four hours. Okay, let's see. Can't can't waste a lot of time. What can be the value of P? Okay, seventy two means eight, right? So zero dash four should be divisible by eight. Um, so zero two four. Zero six four forty na zero. Zero zero four will not work. I think these are two. Okay, and uh, four plus four plus four sixteen plus two eighteen. So nine is fine. And uh, four plus four plus four. Oh, sorry. Four plus four plus four twelve. Twelve plus two fourteen. And four plus four plus four twelve plus six is eighteen. So P can be four. I think. Fourteen, and already nine. We have to make it visible, 
reciprocals of the squares of the roots of the equation 2x square minus 7x plus 25. I'll have to do it in normal only. 25, 40, 50. How will I get 50? 50 with a gap of 7. 10, 5s are 50. Okay, I'll, I'll just check once if I can manage something. So, alpha plus beta, sum of roots is minus b by a, so 7 by 2, and product of roots is c by a, 25 by 2. Uh, roots, which are the reciprocals of the squares of the roots. So, 1 by alpha square, 1 by beta square, right? So, sum of roots will be alpha square plus beta square upon alpha square beta square. This will be alpha plus beta the whole square minus 2 alpha beta. So 49 by 4 minus 25 upon 625 by 4. 4 will get cancelled. 25 4 is 100. 49 100 minus 51 minus 51 by 625. Some awkward number I'm getting. So sum of roots is minus 51 by 625. Like something I messed up. Okay, let, let's see. I think this is the key to the answer. Let's see. Sum of roots is minus b by 7 by 2. Uh, product of roots is 25 by 2. Yeah. Um, um, reciprocals of the squares of the roots. Reciprocals of the squares. One by one. These are the roots. Sum of the roots. One by one. So 7 by 2 the whole square. 49 by 4 minus 25. 49 by 4 minus 25. 49 minus 100 minus 51. That is perfect. Divided by 4 is fine. Alpha beta whole square is 625 by 4. 4 will get cancelled out. Minus 51 by 625 is perfect. That is not an issue. So why are we getting all these random numbers here? 51 is not a factor of 625. 51 is, is it divisible by something? I don't know. I don't know. Product of the roots is 1 by alpha square beta square. Product of the roots is 625 by 4. So I'm getting a 625 somewhere. I'm getting a 4 somewhere. I'm getting a random minus 51 somewhere. I don't know where this 51 is coming. Okay. Three thousand students studying in class five to ten in the ratio of this thing. Okay. Uh, male to female is given, whatever difference between total male and six to the thing. Male female, hai. uh, difference is the same as in all male students in the class six. More are distinction, and all these things are there. Now, normally, they are distinction. So this is some calculation that I have to do. Okay, let's see. So, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, right? Six classes, huh? 300 students, 654, 465. So, 15 to 30, right? 30 tens are. So, 60, 50, 40. And 40, 60, 50. Okay. Uh, gender ratio, male and female. So, let's say male is to female. Uh, for class 5 and 7 is 11 is to 9. 5 is 11 is to 9. So, 23 is 33 and 27. Um, class 7 is again uh, 11 is to 9. 7 is 11 is to 9. So, 2 are um, 22 and 18. Uh, class 8, it is 3 is to 2. So, 8s are 24 and 16. Um, 9th, it's 8 is to 7. 4s are 32 and 28. Um, total number of male and female difference is, difference is 26. Achha, male is more than female, right? 26 is the difference. So, 300 to the apartment divided by difference is 26. So, sum is 300, difference is 26, 326, 163. Am I right? Yeah, 163 is right. So 163 is males, 137 will be females. Yeah. Um, this is still okay. Till here it's fine. This difference is the same as the number of male students in class 6. So male students is 26. Yeah, so this will be 24, I think. Difference is the same. No? Hmm. So 163, agar yaan pe, so 33, 26 is 59, 69, 79, 81, 105, 137. 26, 24, I think, 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 I think
students who score more than 90% are distinction 12.5%. One eighth, one eighth of class eight uh, got distinctions. So five got distinctions. And 8.33 is one twelfth of nine. So five got distinctions. Four students of class six, I guess, got distinctions. Six students of class 10 got distinctions. Number of students who receive distinction in each class, class 5 and 7 will have the same percentage points. 5 and 7 will have the same percentage points. Achha. Which will be the arithmetic mean of the percentage points of class 6th and class 10th. 6th and 10th ka percentage points. Okay. 4 out of 50 is 8% and 6 out of 50 is 12%. So 10%. Okay, I'm assuming this is 6 and this is 4. Let's see. What, what, what did I get? Express the number of students using the percentage of number of students in classes. 5 and 7 will have the same percentage points, which will be the arithmetic of the percentage points of class 6 and class 10. Right? Class 6 is uh, 4 out of 50 or 8%. 10 to 6 out of 12%. 8 and 12 ka average is 10%. I think this is fine. Average number, okay, 6, 4, 10, 4, 14, 14 and uh, 24, and 6 is 30, 30, 30 6 is 5. I think. Highest number of female students, okay, uh, 28, class 9. Number of female, where the maximum number of male students are present. Maximum number of males will be 33, so 27. Female in class 8 forms what percentage of male in class 9, okay, 16 out of 32 is 50 percent. What percentage of total students got distinction? Total students, okay, okay, sorry. So out of 300, uh, what was the number? Uh, 30 was the number, 30 was the 10 percentage. Okay, so got through that thing very quickly. So we are done with almost more than one hour and we are at 72, which is not a good place to be. I will have to be faster than this. Okay, so the, the other part is colored now. I don't know. I think the fourth one is right because the remaining part is colored. Seems to be obvious. What is this petals thing? So everything moves ahead by two places, right? Everything moves ahead by two places. So everything should move ahead by two places. Not really. Everything should move ahead by two places. Not really. Everything should move ahead by two places. Not really. By two places not really by two places i think it's right yeah. this one is right everything moves ahead by two places okay b o becomes d o but that is what nothing to do so achha, this is the half of this and this is the larger one so one element becomes half yeah, this seems nice and the other one becomes larger similar right this is not could be right but this is not exactly half this is not exactly half same yeah i think two is right i think two so visual anything always go for the obvious bit okay so triangle is as it is the circle bit goes away xx goes xx becomes mirror image so mirror image is fine uh, this is not so two is out i think three is out I, three is correct four is wrong i think five is also wrong so it's one or three Okay, the outer one goes away and the inner one becomes, uh, there is a black dot. Achha, the outer one goes in and becomes a dot. Okay, so square, this is nice. One is nice. Three may oval kaasa gaya nahi. So one is, I think it will be. Okay, one C, two C, four C, six C, one, two, four, six. Sorry, I'll just write it. Seems this is a numerical series. One, two, four, six. 7, sorry, 1, 2, 4, 7. Okay, okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, this is nice. Uh, it's plus 1, plus 1. That is the logic, I guess. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So this is this seems to be wrong. It's, this should have been 16. Uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, and this, this has to be 16 plus 622. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 25, 25. Yeah, perfect. So this fifth one is wrong. Yeah, am I right? 16, huh? 4, 4, 4, and 3. Yeah, okay. Very painful. 
what is this this looks like a heart okay heart goes one two three places then heart gets out what about this one this should come three places okay now this crescent come three places this comes three places so this three is fine uh sorry this three is fine this three doesn't work so this is wrong i think option two is wrong because then crescent is coming here this i said this is also not coming this is also going this should have come here now circle is coming here I said this is not so one may it comes there one may it it's not right so here it is done this should not have happened this is correct this should not have happened this is correct this should not have happened this is fine then what about this one it goes here then goes back does this go here no it doesn't go here. does this go here yeah it goes here. this goes here What about the triangle? The triangle goes here. Will the circle go here? No. Pentagon goes here. Correct. This goes here. Correct. Can't see anything. Um, arrow. Okay. So what happens? Star is here. Square is here. So these two are here. These two go out. Then what happens? Crescent is here. This thing arrow comes back. Okay, so basically, which are fixed? Um, whatever. Twelve o'clock and three o'clock are fixed. Twelve o'clock and three o'clock are fixed. Um, twelve o'clock and six o'clock are fixed. So twelve three, twelve six, twelve nine. Yeah. So twelve three, twelve six, twelve nine. Um, twelve three. Then 12, 6, yeah, and 12, 9, yeah. So this should not come here. 5, I think, is wrong because the third element is getting repeated. The third element should not come now. So there should be new elements. I think this is right. Okay, smallest four digit number can increase by 8 is divisible by 12, 18, 30, and 45. Increase by 8, now. So 1018 definitely is not right. 1032 plus 8, 1040 is not divisible by 30. So this is out. 1080, 1080 could be divisible. Yeah, this is 1072 seems to be nice. 1088 nahi hoga. Uh, 1098. So thankfully didn't have to calculate. Bunsel classes. I don't know. I like solving these calculations. Although I have been doing well in this test with these kind of things. Let's see. Let's start. Um, Monday to Friday timings are 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. Three slots 8 to 9, 9 to 10, 10 to 11. One hour per slot is given. I'll just try to expand this. I thought it will be a very painful story. Okay. Um, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And we are doing 8 to 9, 9 to 10, 10 to 11. Right. So these are the three slots. One class is scheduled exactly in one of the three, two classes of the same day, which can be in consecutive slots only. One English slot, one English class is scheduled in the first slot of a particular day and another one in the last slot. Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. A geography class is scheduled between a math class and a history class on Friday. So geography will be here. So math or history. But has something been given about math or history? Name. So math or history. Math or history. Okay. Um, one English class is scheduled on the in the first slot on a particular day and another one on the last slot of the next day. Okay, so either it will have E, e or E, E or E, E. Teen chi no science class is scheduled on Wednesday and exactly for two consecutive days, a science class is scheduled immediately after an English class of the same day. Two consecutive days. Okay, so if English and English are here, then science need not be scheduled here, right? Unless we have two English, but they can be consecutive. Okay, so so I'll have something which precedes this. So English can't be here. So English will either be here, here or here. here. Huh. Exactly for two consecutive days. So there has to be a science class somewhere here, either here or here. There has to be a science class or here and here or here or here. No science class is scheduled for Wednesday. So the two consecutive ones have to be here. No? Hmm.
No science class is this thing. So there has to be a science here. There has to be a science here. And this science has to follow an English class. Yeah. So ES, ES has to be there. Now ES, if it has to be there, E can't be here. Because then I will have to have some E here and here. Right. I'm not sure of this, but I think this is a possibility. Three subjects are taught, one, two, three, four, five subjects are there. Each subject is scheduled exactly once. So five, threes are 15. I think there should be some limit, right? Uh, one class of each subject is scheduled exactly once in each of the three slots in the week. Oh, like that. Okay, then I think this has to be here. This has to be here. Because otherwise, English there is no place left. Science, happening, so science has to be here. So one geography has to be up, one geography has to be down. Okay, I think it's understood. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can still figure out. Let's go with this. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. If history is scheduled on three consecutive days, so then history has to be here and here. Wednesday, Thursday, history has to be there. Uh, Wednesday, Thursday, history has to be there. Tuesday from 10 to 11. Tuesday from 10 to 11. Okay. So history can't be at the bottom. History, science, English can't be at the bottom. History, science, English can't be at the bottom. So it's either geography or maths. Yeah, geography or math. I think this is right. If science and history are not scheduled on the same day, science and history are not scheduled on the same day. So um, science and history. So history cannot be here. So history will have to be here and history will have to occupy these consecutive slots. Then which subject is 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. on Friday? Uh, that has to be maths then because history will then occupy the third place. If science and history are not scheduled on the same day, Science and history are not scheduled on the same day, same thing. And maths is scheduled immediately after science only once from Monday to Friday. Maths is scheduled uh, immediately after science only once. So either Tuesday or here. Okay. Which is 10 to 11 on Thursday. 10 to 11 on Thursday, this one, right? So maths is scheduled only once. Uh, immediately after science only once. Maths is scheduled immediately after science only once. So maths can't be here. Maths has to be either here or math has to be here uh, but then history will be here which is fine e s h g m there can't be anything else yeah so m has to be here so this is not right so what is the question thursday 10 to 11 thursday 10 to 11 so s is done m is done uh, m can't be here m can be here Okay. Two G's are left, right? So G will have to be here in that case. G E H S, so M will have to be here. H will go. M is here, so H will be here. M will go. So M E S H and G are left. H can be here or G can. Be here. So one H, one G. H or G. H and G, but science and history are not the same. So this will be G, geography and Tuesday, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. English, right? Definitely scheduled on Monday, English and science. Let's do this again. So we are midway through the set, test 87. 
we'll have to be faster let's see if tina goes to the market she takes the bus how many questions have we done okay i did something funny here okay if tina goes to the market she takes the bus so uh, if she does not take the bus then she does not go to the market did not take the bus did not go to the market so four is perfect tina goes to the market she took the bus yeah one and four Only if the boy is an MBA will Priya marry him. Okay. If and only if the boy is an MBA will Priya marry him. Okay. So if the boy is an MBA, Priya will marry him. If Priya does not marry him, he is not an. MBA. Yeah. So three is right. Three is definitely right. So option three is out. Option four is out. Three is definitely right. The boy is an MBA. Priya will marry. Yeah, one and three are followed. Right? We will follow it. One and three are fine. It will work both ways. So, boy is not an MBA. Priya will not marry him. Yeah, all follow it. All follow. It. If and only we will have both cases. P implies Q. Q implies. Only if the tea is hot, will Ram drink it? So if and only if again, right? So if the tea is hot, Ram will drink it. Yeah. So two is perfect. I think all follows. Tea was hot. Ram drank the tea. Uh, tea was not hot. Ram did not drink it. Uh, Ram did not drink it. Tea was not hot. Yeah. I think all follows. I think I think I'm right. So let's see. Okay. Or uh, C E A. We'll look at this thing. C E A. क्या होता है? C all rocks are placid. Um, e मतलब क्या है? Some rocks are airtight. And A is all placid are airtight. No, does not follow. Um, A C B. Uh, all placid are airtight. C is all rocks are placid. And B is some rocks are airtight. Technically, B is right. B D C some rocks are airtight. Some placid are airtight. All rocks are placid. No, so three is wrong. One and three are out. C F E all rocks are placid. All placid are waffles. Some rocks are airtight. No, doesn't matter. So fourth is out. A, B, C. All placid are airtight. Some rocks are airtight. All rocks are airtight. no. Uh, no. I think two is right. Okay. Again, let's see. F, C, E. F, C, E. क्या होता है? F, C, E. F is some black are red. C is no red are azure. And E is some azure are not black. No red are azure. Some azure are not. Some azure are not black. I think this is right. I think this is right because some azure that are sorry. Some azure that are not red. Actually, we can't say right. This can this can be a possibility. Yeah, this is not right. Sir. I don't. I have to clear this. I don't think I can put. Okay. Okay. DFA. Let's see. DFA. All black are yellow. Uh, FA. Some black are red. And A is all red are yellow. Nice. DFB. Some yellow are red. I think this is right. So DFA was almost right. Uh, B basically says some yellow are red, which is true. So DFB is the answer. Okay, this is the classic rearrangement question from CET. I don't know. You get everything right or you get everything wrong. So let's see. Uh, B kya hai? B is the correct. Achha, considering G as the third sentence. Okay. This is funny. G. Seven. Um, G is the third sentence. G kya hai? In this book. The authors tell us the story of a young Muslim boy who has big dreams about his future and what inspires him to become an eminent scientist. Okay, so they have to talk something about the book, right? Uh, this real story tells us the role in the book 
the book wings of fire i think b has to be the first statement uh book wings of fire uh, extraordinary reading for all ages yeah um there is something that everybody can extract apart from the very indicative title the chapters are also touching description of the book okay so b is this thing the real story tells achieving its goals mm -hmm. Apart from the very indicative title, the chapters are also it like this one for some reason. So B E G, let's say F. Then the conclusion, C, A and D. Okay. C and D seem much better as well. So where will A go? A will have to go somewhere, no? Now that I think of it, D can also be the second statement for all ages and something that everybody can extract. Okay, let's, let's try this. B, D, G. Okay. E. F. C. And A. A. E. F. C. So either C or D. I don't know. Let me check it once and then I'll mark it. Books, Wings of Fire, Construction, and Rogers. Um, e is basically apart from the very indicative title. Okay, I like this one better. I think I'll go for it. Italicized word in E. Achha. Propriciation. Orientation, creation. I like conciliation. Okay. Fourth sentence. F, it's there, I don't know, F or A. Second sentence, E. First sentence, B. This I hope should be right. It will be very funny if that is wrong. Okay. President gave his assent on the three contentious agricultural bills. Three sentences, which of them are incorrect? Incorrect what? Okay. Incorrect in terms of grammar or in terms of factual? Okay. The president gave his assent on the three contentious agriculture bills that were earlier passed by the parliament. The opposition as well as long-time BJP ally Shiromani Akali Dal have turned these reforms as anti-farmer. Currently, they, there are widespread protests going on against the three reforms. Farmers Produce Trade and Commerce, Promotion and Facilitation Act, Farmers Empowerment and Protection Act on Price Assurance and Farm Services Act and the Essential Commodities Act. I don't understand what is this. Incorrect in terms of what? I don't know. Opposition as well as Romania Akali Dal have termed these reforms as anti-farmer, which I think might be right. Grammatically, it's right and I think it's fine more or less. Okay, let's see. So B seems to be right. 
So I'll eliminate two and five. A, C, A, and C. Nothing that is favoring. I don't know. I'll go for only C. I'm, I'm not sure of this. I think this is a GK question or something. I'm not wrong. Okay, doesn't matter. India is an agriculture dash country. Agriculture dominated country. Infested to Niuga, oriented is different, invested Niya. I think dominated is fine. 70% uh, is dependent, achha, involved, involved. Okay. Dependent in Niuga, involved in is right. Better. Um, the farmers need feed the entire nation, but it is a sad fact, saddening fact, yeah, that they are entangled in the dash of clutches or whatever. Gar, gar name. Garb of starvation, fetters, disguise. Disguise to nahi for sure. Form of starvation nahi hai. shelter of starvation nahi hai. fetters or garb. I somehow feel garb is the better. I don't know. Recently, government passed new bills. Um, but the farmers and various state governments opposing these bills. Production is the bills on streets and roads. Tractor protest, opposition of bills. Punjab Assembly has passed the resolution dash the central governments. So we are talking about rejection, right? Opposing or rejecting, yeah. Rejecting. I think rejecting is fine. Okay, what is this? Who are the players in the team? Yeah, this is still better. Uh, Sachin and Sehwag always open the batting order and no one else can open the batting. Sachin, Sehwag, Sachin, Sehwag, yeah. So all four options are fine. Saurav and Dinesh hate each other, so they both can't be. Saurav and Dinesh can't be in the same team. Okay. Although Dinesh was supposed to be the lucky mascot for those who know. Uh, Dinesh, Zaheer, Pathan are the three bowlers. So Dinesh, Zaheer, Pathan message, two have to be included. Uh, Dinesh, Zaheer, Pathan. So one is definitely wrong. Um, Dinesh, Zaheer, Pathan. Okay, so two is still fine. Dinesh, Zaheer, Pathan, three is fine. Dinesh, Zaheer, Pathan is still fine because Saurav is not there. Okay. Um, Rahul has to be in the team. So option three is out. Zaheer only plays if Saurav is in the team. So Zaheer plays if Saurav is in the team. So two is wrong. I think four is right. Okay. Uh, Salman, Sohail and Arbaz. Let's see. Sohail, Arbaz, Salman. Okay. Um, only one of them is telling the truth. Okay. So let's say Sohail is telling the truth. Salman is the thief. So Salman is the thief. Salman is the thief. Salman goes that Sohail is not the thief. So then this becomes true as well. Now, so this is not right. Um, so let's say Arbaz is talking the truth. I am not the thief, which is true. So Salman is the thief. Salman is the thief is false. Sohail is not the thief, will be false because then Sohail will be the thief. Okay. And what if Salman is the truth teller? Sohail is not the thief. Sohail is not the thief. Arbaz ka statement false hai, then Arbaz becomes the thief. And Salman becomes the thief is also false. Yeah, both of them are false. So Sohail is definitely a liar in two cases. If Arbaz is speaking the truth, then who is the thief? Sohail. That. How many letters are immediately followed by a digit? Followed by a digit, but not immediately preceded by a symbol. So letter, digit, but not. So symbol, nahi hona chahiye. letter, hona chahiye, digit. Hona chahiye. Okay. Letters are followed by digit. So this is not right. This is right. Not right. Right. Okay, Ravi is preparing list of seven friends in descending out of their weights. All the weights are distinct. Namit and Nikhil are not the heaviest. Kya pucha hai? Which we are, cannot be the rank of Prasad. Are, yeah. Cannot be is very difficult. Okay, Namit and Nikhil are not the heaviest. So Namit and Nikhil are not the uh, heaviest. Ravi is definitely heavier than both of them. Achha, lighter than both of them. But is not lightest. So, Vivek is heavier than both 
Namit and Nikhil. So Vivek upar hai, but someone can be upar uh, above him as well. Suresh is heavier than Vivek, so Suresh is here. Uh, Ravi does not know the exact weights of Mihir and Prasad, but he knows that Mihir is lighter than Prasad. So uh, Prasad and Mihir are like this. Cannot be the rank number of Prasad, okay. Prasad can be third. Prasad can't be seven for sure. Yeah, why will Prasad be seven? Because Mihir is lighter than Prasad. What an easy question. Okay. Eight at the rate six. So four. Four. Achha, I think it's going ahead. Na? Aha, 8 Q E capital D dollar. So copyright. So it should start with the copyright signal uh, sing, uh, symbol. So leave bhi dekh lete hai. At the rate E. So at the rate then E. So 3 backwards. 4. 3 backwards. Uh, o. 3 backwards. 1, 2, 3 is S. And one, two, three, seven. Yeah, I think this one. Rhea started her journey being guided by faulty compass. First, she traveled towards north as per the compass. And then she turned left. And after traveling some distance, took a 180 degree turn in the clockwise direction. Doesn't matter. We'll go backwards and walk some more distance. Finally, she turned right. Now she's facing the sun. Which direction does the north of the faulty compass actually point? But Sun where as a setting sun. Okay, okay. So this is west. Okay. Um, so this is west. Then this was supposed to be east. So north will point towards east. Okay. What is the meaning of moon shines over the ocean and ships float on boat with full hill in sky? What is this? Data sufficiency. Sun is called moon and moon is called hill. But ocean or is kya What is this question? I don't understand. Sun is called moon. The sun shines over moon, ocean, boat and hill. Sun is called moon. Moon is called hill. Okay. So sun shines over Sun shines over the hill. I will need both the statements. No? I don't understand what is the question. I don't know. I'll go for this one. Seems obvious. Seven friends with really weird names are sitting on a bench facing same direction or nice in the same order who is sitting on the extreme left. Neither Rimi nor Rikki are sitting at an extreme end. Rishi is sitting to the right of Rinki. Who said will not be able to figure out? Na? Uh, Rini and Raju are the immediate neighbors of Raja. You need to cross at least a couple of persons from each either end to reach Raja. At least a couple of persons. Seven friends are there. Let's club both and see what happens. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, to reach Raja. Huh? Rini and Raju are the immediate neighbors of Raja. Rishi is sitting to the right of Rinki. I don't think we'll be able to get the answer for this one, honestly. To reach Raja, na? so Raja can be here, Raja can be here, Raja can be here. In this case, Raja will be here. Rini and Raju will be the immediate neighbors of uh, ye, Raja. Rini and Raju. So if Raja is here, then these three are occupied. And these three remain, let's say. Uh, Rimi or Riki are not sitting at an extreme end. Rishi is sitting to the right of Rinki. So Rimi and Riki, let's say they are sitting here. If these three are occupied, then Rimi and Riki will have to be sitting here. Um, and uh, Rishi is sitting to the right of Rinki. Okay. So Rini and Raju, Rini, Raju, Raja are done. Rini, Raju, Raja are done. Uh, Rishi, Rinki are done. So Riki, Rimi are left. Hmm. 
No, the mirror key will be here. Ah, correct. So this will not work. So this is definitely not true. So this should also not be true. Similarly, mm -hmm. so I think Raja will have to sit in the middle. So if Raja sits in the middle, but फिर भी मैं कैसे बोलूँगा? ठीक है, Raja is in the middle. Let's say. So Rini and Raju are somewhere. So Rini, Raju are here. ठीक है. Uh, the mirror key should be like this. Rishi is sitting to the right of Rinki. So wherever Rinki sits, Rishi will have to be here. So extreme left will have to be the other one. Yeah, both these statements are enough. Right? Slightly difficult one. Okay. Sushmita's sisters, only brothers, wife. Mother in law, brother, brother in law, later Sushmita. Yeah, so should be the father basically. If we know that this is the only sibling that, that exists, Sushmita's mother is the only daughter of her father and has only one brother. Perfect, brilliant. Is the only daughter of her father and has only one brother who is unmarried. Either is fine. Okay, interesting question. Size of the team. Only one among C, D, G must be selected. But we can't say about the rest. A and F cannot be selected together. But what about B and E? Usme se nahi sakta, so we can't say. I'll go for five. B and E we don't know. 49 people are standing in the queue for movie tickets. Ria and Jaya are standing in the queue. Jaya is 17th from the front end. So 16 people are there. Jaya is here. Jaya, sorry, whatever. And Ria is 25th from the rear end. So 24 and Ria. Priya Kapa. Acha Priya is standing exactly between. Okay. So 17 are here, 25 are here. 17 and 25 will be what? 42? 49 people are 7 now. So beach may have to exactly between them. So 6, 16 plus 7 plus 6, 23, 24, I think. Not sure. Okay. 24th. Okay, 24th from the front end. GI is 17th from the front end. Ria is 25th from the rear end. So, this 25 ho gaya, is 17. Ho gaya. 42 is done. So, 7 are left. So, 3, 3 and this is basically Priya. Okay. So, 17 plus 3, 20 is 21 from the front end. The average of 9 distinct numbers is 15. So 135 is the total. Average of first three numbers is 17, 51. Last three numbers is 39. Three is our kid now, yeah? 117. Something is off. Sum is 39. Okay. What is the question? Average of the numbers in the middle. So the 60, 90, 30, 45, 15 is the average. Average of the first three and the last three numbers. 15. Same and equal to. Okay. 15 raised to A. So 3 raised to A, 5 raised to A, uh, 3 raised to B minus A, 7 raised to B minus A, 7 raised to A plus B. Okay. So 3 raised to B, 5 raised to A, 7 raised to 2B. Okay. Uh, 441 is 21 square. What is 6125? Um, 7 raised to 2, 3 raised to 2, and 6125 will be 25, 2 are 50, 25, 4 are 100, 25, 5 are 125. I think 245, 25, 2 are 50, 112, 4 are 100, 125. I think this is like 245. So one more 5. So 5 cube diagram. Okay, five fours are forty nine. Aega. So seven square again. So four. Aega. Okay. So what are we saying here? Three is to B. So B is two. A is three. B is two. A is three. B is two. A is B is two. A is three.
New mobile is marked above the cost price. The customer is given discount of rupees D on the marked price. The profit earned by the seller is rupees D. So let's say 100 is the CP. Something is there, na? I don't know what 40% or some, some concept is there, I forgot. One twenty twenty five नहीं होगा. Okay, anyway doesn't matter. Let's see. Discount of rupees D on the mark price. Profit on is D. So mark price minus D. CP plus D. अच्छा. Mark price minus D is CP plus D. So mark price minus cost price is 2D is obvious. Okay. Discount given to the customer is discount upon mark price and profit earned by the seller is discount upon cost price. So mark price is greater than the cost price. So mark price is greater than the cost price. Denominator is larger. This fraction has to be less than this fraction. Remainder when 221 raised to 17 is divided by 65. 2 raised to 34 divided by 7. Okay. I want to go for Euler. Let's see. 13 is gone. No? So this is 5. 16 is gone. 13 is 7 is 91. Hmm. 221 raised to 16. 5 ka Euler is 4. So this remainder has to be 1. Anyway, 1 have up. And 17 by 5 remainder has to be 2. So this ka remainder I got 2. 2 raised to 34 by 7. 7 ka oiler is 6. 2 raised to 4. 16 by 7. Two, three, two, three, three, four, three, three. I think it's right. Sometimes cat prep helps. Probability of Q standing just behind R or just ahead of T. Six people, na? Q is just behind R. Or Q is just ahead of T. So half the cases, half the cases and overlaps that we'll have to check now. Just behind R or just ahead of T. So half the cases may ahead of R. Half. May I, I don't know this. I, I, too difficult and I have to be faster. Copper sphere diameter 12 centimeters melted into a wire of 1 centimeter length of the wire. 4 by 3 pi R cube will be the same as pi r square h length r square na diameter is 1 so 1 by 4 okay pi will go pi will go 1 by 4 okay. um 36 into 2 into 16 32 into 36 34 square nahi pata 32 into 6 36 to the 72 30 on 0 8 1 1 5 2 the person also have the maximum number of parties with each party having the same number of friends but a different combination of friends. How many persons should he invite per party? Maximum number of parties. So 12 to nahi hoga. Okay, I have to look at 12C5 or 12C7, 12C6. Okay, you have to look at 12C10. The middle ones will be greater, right? 12C6. 12 C6 or 12 C6. 12 C6. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, and 7, 20. 6s are 12s are 84 into 11, 840 and 924, I think. It's now gone. And um, 12 C5. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Nine eight by one twenty. Eleven into nine into eight. Seventy two into eleven. Seven ninety two. I think this is better, right? Six is better. As you go towards the middle, it will grow. It's like the Pascal triangle. Okay. Not. <sighs> this is fine. Mirror image is still okay. Mirror image is okay. Mirror image is okay. Mirror image is okay. 
um, clockwise, 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 anticlockwise, anticlockwise, anticlockwise. This is clockwise. Fourth is one. I think it's one. Can't waste time. Uh, okay. This arrow goes to the opposite side. Then goes. अच्छा, okay, okay. Arrow is opposite. ठीक है एरो इज ऑपोजिट बट इसमें एरो ऑपोजिट सेम डायरेक्शन है एरो ऑपोजिट सेम डायरेक्शन एरो ऑपोजिट सेम डायरेक्शन एरो ऑपोजिट सेम डायरेक्शन एरो ऑपोजिट सेम डायरेक्शन ठीक है सर्कल गोस टू एंटी क्लॉकवाइज 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 एंड दिस आर्क थिंग गोस उल्टा डायरेक्शन सेम थिंग इसमें ओरिएंटेशन इज गॉन इसमें ओरिएंटेशन इज सेम सो आई थिंक ऑप्शन टू इज रॉन्ग ठीक है ना ओरिएंटेशन सेम होना चाहिए सो इसमें ओरिएंटेशन इज द सेम इसमें ओरिएंटेशन दिस आवर क्लासिक सीटी विजुअल इज क्वेश्चन आई थिंक माइनर चेंजेस बट यू कैन सी एनीवे अप 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 डाउन डाउन सो डाउन अप डाउन डाउन अप सो बेसिकली थ्री अप्स एंड टू डाउन हियर यू हैव Three downs and two ups. ठीक है. Um, one, two, three and two down. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now you have one, two, three, one, two. ठीक है. This is fine. I think. One, two, and you have one, two, three. This is also fine. I think the second one is an issue, right? So you had a uh, one, two, three. You have one, two, three. Yeah, two is. I think two is wrong. Uh, okay. Uh, mirror image. Uh, sorry. Uh, water image. Water image. Not water image. Okay. Water image. नहीं है. This is water. 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 I think this is wrong. So two is wrong. Okay. I don't know what this is. I don't know too much effort. Too much effort, honestly. Okay, this ka mirror image. ठीक है, this per ka mirror image. Uh, sorry, water image, water image, water image, water image. Okay, that is sad. Is there anything else? Again, this is basically clockwise. Middle one becomes clockwise or ninety degrees. Clockwise. clockwise this is mirror image this is wrong again to clockwise uh, i think 5 is wrong 5 is entirely 90 degrees cut 180 degrees cut 5 i think okay average profit profit kya hai expenditure is here sales revenue is here revenue and expenditure revenue minus expenditure is profit right चाहिए Lowest operating ratio. What is operating ratio? Expenditure upon sales revenue. Expenditure upon sales revenue. Expenditure upon sales revenue. Okay. Lowest. I mean, highest sales revenue. Okay. Um, seventeen eighty. So three eighty by three sixty five. Okay. Close. Three eighty by three sixty five. Lowest. Okay. Na. So this highest one. Two seventy by two fifty. Five forty by five fifteen. Four twenty by three ninety. And five thirty by four ninety eight. So it has to be the largest such number. So the larger, the if the gap remains the same, then the smaller the number, the higher the fraction, right? So let's say three's gap is four uh, by one and hundred by ninety seven. Four by one is better. Yeah? So smaller is better. Three eighty, three sixty five. Fifteen's gap is this doesn't work. Twenty's gap is because I have some thirty here that is already present, right? तो थर्टी का गैप टू फिफ्टी टू थ्री नाइनटी टेन का गैप तो नहीं होगा 
so negative okay uh, profit a was profitable first then a became negative so decline uh, minus 10 to 0 so it's fine um 0 to minus 10 again decline uh nee nee sorry sorry it was increased okay let me check okay let me see so 310 To two ninety five, right? So this is higher. So uh, profit is of fifteen. Profit was fifteen. Now the profit came down. So this is fine. Um, then what happened to the profit? It stagnated. So it is fine. It didn't decline. Now zero say the profit became ten. So it's okay. Uh, profit became fifteen. So it's okay. Profit became twenty. So it's uh, it's okay. What about this one? Uh, profit zero. Profit five. Profit ten. Profit five. So decline. um profit 20 increased profit 20 so same did not decline um profit 25 loss sorry profit 25 profit 30 profit 10 decline profit 15 increase profit 25 increase profit 10 decline so four profit 5 profit 10 profit 2 decline profit 20 improvement profit 40 30 more improvement and decline so six ho gaya theek hai profit 10 profit 15 decline so five um profit 10 profit 32 and decline so eight only company c has never incurred a loss i should have kept those numbers in mind in none of these years two or more companies have incurred a loss okay three instances when the company achieved a break even no i don't think this is right so three is definitely wrong i didn't see a lot of instances break even tha um six instances when profit of 10 crores so yes yes two two yes three Three, 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 four, five, 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 five. Okay. Okay. I'm going for this. Let's see. Be in the year twenty sixteen seventy. Sixteen seventy. Now two fifty. And two forty five. So five by two fifty. Um, one by fifty two two percent. Market share in terms of sales revenue. C and E in twenty fourteen fifteen. In terms of revenue, na C and E. Okay. Forty two twenty three sixty five. Sixty five fifty three is one one eight. One one eight and thirty nine is one fifty seven. One fifty seven and forty nine is two zero eight. Two zero eight. Yes, a good one. I think this is this is what it looks like. Two zero eight zero. Okay. Two zero eight zero. Now, what is the point? Four forty point four percent. Okay. So market share to C and E have together. C and E have together in fourteen fifty. Fifty-three plus forty, one zero two. So if this corresponds to forty point four, what does this correspond to? Divide by two, करना चाहिए ना इसको. Hey, sorry. Uh, uh, 
आई थिंक इट्स इनटू टू दिस शुड बी टू जीरो टू जीरो फोर ट्वेंटी पॉइंट फोर कुछ होना चाहिए राउंड ठीक है ना फोर्टी टू फिफ्टी सिक्स सिक्सटी फाइव सिक्सटी फाइव फिफ्टी थ्री हंड्रेड एंड एटीन फॉर श्योर वन वन एट वन फिफ्टी सेवन फॉर श्योर एंड टू फिफ्टी सेवन में से एक टू जीरो सेवन में से टू जीरो सिक्स जीरो फोर्टी पॉइंट फोर क्या हो गया ठीक है एल्गो पर आई डोंट आई नॉट श्योर बॉक्सेस विल ट्राई दिस बट कंट कंट नंबर्स वो वेरी बिग B and H participated in the same event. So B E F cannot be possible, वैसे भाई तो more than one answer भी possible हो सकता है. ठीक है, should I try this? Seems tempting. Thirty four minutes, ना? ठीक. singing painting speech dancing debate okay dancing and debate require a team of 2 and 3 members baki sare 1 1 1 okay singing painting and whatever b and h participate in the same event so either b and h are here or b and h are here a and g cannot participate in the same event or in different events starting with the same letter so a and g can't participate together a and g can't participate so jo bhi either ya to a Uh, is here whatever C participated in the solo event, and uh, E cannot participate in solo solo event, so E will be here, and uh, only B and H will be in the same. So B H E A and G are selected only for solo events. So A and G are selected for solo events. So A C G यहाँ पे हो गया, and uh, A B C D E F yeah. So B H E D F ये पांच हो गए. A and G cannot participate in the event starting with the same letter, right? So, upper possibility C cannot be painting for sure. So two ways C, uh, sorry, uh, C is here and two ways, or C is here and two ways. So four ways for the top and for the bottom B and H are together. But E D F can be together. E D F cannot be together, right? So D and F cannot be together. Now B H will have to go with uh, B H will have to go with either D or F. Yeah. So B H D is one combination. B H uh, F is one combination. And three cases mean these people have to be there. So there are two cases. Four to the eight, I think, is the answer for this one. Okay. Cannot be a selection for the debate team. Debate team. Yeah. A E D. A E D. A E D अगर यहाँ पे है B H will be here E has to be here B H have to be here ठीक है ये A G and D F का भी दोनों but जो भी तो debate के अंदर ही A E D आ रहे हैं so G F E let's say. now G F E definitely cannot be debate because if G F E are debate It can be debate, na? GAP can be debate, BH can be this thing. ठीक है? BEF can BEF be debate? BEF नहीं B and H have to be in the same one, so this is definitely not. BHE BHE is a possibility. ठीक है, I think. Let's see. Cannot be selection for singing, painting and speech. Singing, painting and speech. Okay, so क्या था ये same letter ना something. A and G cannot have the same letter. So A dash G. And E definitely can't be there. B and H can't be there. 
C has to be one of these. So A and G, A dash G will not work for sure. A and G cannot participate in the same event. So that is again a fine. T and F. Okay. So let's say, let's say we're talking about G, C, D. Okay. G, C, D, if we do, B, H, E is done. So F is left, right? F and H are left. Okay. No, H is left, sorry. Okay. B, H, E and F. अच्छा ए बी ए बी एच ई ए एंड जी कैन नॉट बी द सेम बी एंड एफ कैन बी अ पार्ट ऑफ द सेम टीम बी एंड एच हैव टू बी अ पार्ट ऑफ द सेम टीम दिस इज फाइन जी सी डी इज फाइन व्हाट अबाउट डी ए सी डी ए सी सो ए बी सी डी ई एफ जी बी एच ई एफ जी CDF CDF so AG AG can't participate in the same way can't oh, sorry, this is wrong CDF is wrong I don't know what AGC AGC D and F no? so DF BHE df can't be in the same team so bh d hona chahiye bhf hona chahiye and uh, ef can be in the same team which is fine yeah i think i think this is if d and f sorted out their differences and decided to be in the same team now d and f are also in the same team. very good so d and f in the same team bh in the same team e is a floater e can be with anyone so i am left with a and c a C G A G C is what I'm left with. Okay. And uh, A and G. So C is definitely not here. C is definitely not painting. Uh, so C participating in painting is definitely wrong. Because if C participating in painting, then A and G have to be uh, singing and uh, I think I'm right. If E is participating in dance, E is participating in dance, let's say, and A participated in singing. Let's say then B H will have to participate here. Cannot be part, uh, possible for paint and speech. So G cannot be speech for sure. E participated in dance. A participated in singing. So one, two, three, four are done. Five, six, seven, eight are left. Na? A, B, C, D, F, G. C, D, F, G are left. C has to be here. Achha, C has to be there. Na? So G, D can't be left. If F participates in dance, cannot go to paint and speech. E, F, B, G, C will have to be there. So A, B, C, D, D and G are left. D and G are left. Yeah. D and G are left. Uh, G cannot be here, so D will have to be here. G will have to be here. Sorry. Paint and speech, no? C and D is possible. Rest are not possible. Okay, let's see. Vintage whiskey. Uh, okay. To have better tasting than Don Toretto, would have better tasting notes than Don Toretto. Acha. To be to whiskey connoisseur, vintage whiskey tastes remarkably different, tastes less like vintage whiskey and never opened as good as Take it.
रिमार्केबली डिफरेंट इज इज द इशू ठीक है राम सरन क्या वॉट इज दिस अच्छा बिहेवियर ओके ओल्ड स्कूटर मेनी अटेम्प्ट वेजिटेबल मार्केट बाय वेजिट रिजिट बार्गेन सल्की लुक्स डिंट अलाउ ऑन स्कूल ट्रिप वाइफ इज रूट टू हिम ओके ओके पार्सिमोनियस थ्रिफ्टी बोतल दे मार फाइन सो ए एंड बी आई थिंक ग्रीडी तो नहीं बोल सकते स्टैंड अपन गिवन टाइम वन हंड्रेड ईयर और सो वॉट इज दिस एरर सो बी इज डेफिनेटली रॉन्ग बी इज पक्का रॉन्ग सो ऑप्शन वन फोर आर आउट ए इज ऑल्सो फाइन आई थिंक सो टू एंड फाइव आर दी ओनली वन सेफ्ट ठीक है लेट सी ओक्स बीचेस एंड हिकोरीज वुड कम टू डॉमिनेट दिस ट्रांजिशनल फॉरेस्ट गिवन टाइम वन हंड्रेड इयर्स और सो I somehow like this. ठीक है. Overtaken by Musk, I cannot replace the underlying face. Overtaken by Musk as the world's richest person, Bezos, the Amazon founder CEO, is number one since October. Left by Musk, Musk as the world's richest person. Left नहीं होगा. Surpassed ठीक है. Surmised नहीं होगा. So only B. So A and C cannot replace. Cannot replace है ना? A fire tower was standing here a year ago. A fire tower that was standing here a year ago has been ripped from its foundation. its foundation nahi hoga so a is wrong d is wrong and uh, and sent crashing down the ridge scale has been ripped and sent has been ripped and has been sent has been ripped from and sent crashing down the ridge side i don't know i am i'm okay with this when i reach the mouth of the intermittent stream i follow lost creek until i could see i followed so c is wrong अच्छा वेन आई रीच द माउथ ऑफ द इंटरमीडिएट स्ट्रीम आई फॉलो लॉस्ट क्रीक अंटिल आई कुड सी देन डी इज रॉन्ग इफ सी इज राइट नॉट इवन द इनेविटेबल बडलाइट कोड नॉट इवन वॉट द इनविटेबल बडलाइट कोड सो डी एंड ई आई थिंक Christmas lights outline the trailers and the small clapboard houses that are clustered tightened tightly. होना चाहिए तो C is wrong. As if gravity herself, gravity itself. हाँ ठीक है. The police department has a duty to investigate. So A is wrong for sure. So A and B or A D E. But this kind of questioning smack smack soft. A and B होना चाहिए. Something far more sinister because a person's political and scientific views are being weighed. To us, assess is likely criminality in the eyes of the police. The cat, the cat does not fit. Pen. The cattle were penned behind a wooden fence. She did not properly pen down the minutes of the meeting. So pen down is fine. So B is okay. So this is out. Delhi police penned out the farmers at Singhu border. Penned out. Were penned behind. I don't only see. Backed out, I'm not sure of this. People are protesting against the current government in order to get the three agriculture laws repealed. In order to get the three agriculture laws repealed, in order to allow the three agriculture laws to demand their rights and get them repealed. No, no, only A. I think get them repealed. What repealed? Ah, uh, rights to be repealed. Correct. Reliance Industries issued additional shares to its shareholders in lieu of a cash dividend. Instead of a cash dividend, yes. In place of a cash dividend, yes. For a cash dividend, no. So A and C. Are Managing to score well in English was a piece of cake for her. Kya karne mein cannot replace. Herculean task, unsurmountable. Insurmountable. I don't know. B is right. So A and C, I guess. The professor said, "Let's call it a day." So let finish uh, this thing. We should end. We should conclude. Yeah, cannot replace. So A only. Seven members of the family. Should I do it now or should I do it later? I think I should do it later. Ah, uh, article for now wholesale twenty percent discount sales to its customer at the ten percent on the mask. Okay, wholesale twenty percent discount. So hundred. Let's say 
Uh, buy it at 20% discount. So this is basically the cost price. Uh, sells it to customer at 10% discount on the mark price. So one twelve point five percent And now, if they could have a 200, uh, let's say 150. Sorry. So 120 and um, 135. So, yeah, 180. Okay. 3 plus 270 whole square. Okay. This I can find out. 3 square is 9. 2 square is 4. 7 is 28. Plus 9 is 37. Plus uh, 3 2s are 6, 2s are 12 root 7. So 7, 37 and 7. A right circular cone have the same radius. Height are equal to their diameters. Cone and cylinder. Have the same radius. Now right circular cone, right circular cylinder and hemisphere. Okay. So, um, volumes. 1 by 3 pi r square h. Pi r square h. 4 by 3 pi r cube and height is the same as the radius. So, 1 by 3 is to 1 is to 4 by 3. So, 1 is to 3 is to 4. Oh. Heights are equal to the diameters. Okay. Heights are equal to diameters. Na? Pi into r square into 2r. Okay, and 4 by 3 pi r cube. So pi r cube is gone, pi r cube is gone, r cube is gone, pi is gone. Okay, so 2 by 3 is to 2 is to 4 by 3. So 2, 3 is a, a 2 is to 2, 3 is a 6 is to 4, 2 is to 6 is to 4, sorry, which is 1 is to 1 is to 3 is to 2. Thankfully, we didn't have an option which said 1 is to 3 is to 4. If I would have been an evil question paper sector, I would have definitely included that. Okay. Data sufficiency, what is Mohan's monthly salary? Anuj gets 25% more salary than for Agni Partha. Uh, Anuj monthly salary doesn't matter. So let's look at both of them. So Anuj's monthly salary is 45k. Uh, Anuj gets 25% more salary than Mohan. So 1.25 times. Okay. 36,000. Is Mohan. Catch you Mohan's monthly salary. Both of them. Nine books and three pens. Three books and one pen is one thirty two. Size of that. Two books, two pens. No, one book, one pen. I no, only two alone. In an alloy, the ratio of copper and zinc is five is to two. One point two five kg zinc is mixed in seventeen kg fifteen hundred gram of an alloy. Acha, okay, seventeen five hundred of the alloy. Five to seven, na seven. So 17.5. 7 to the 14, 3 is 2.3, right? 7 to the 14, 7, 2.5. 2.5 is 12.5. What is 12.5? 5 by 7 times. Okay. So 12.5 is copper. Zinc is uh, 5. Okay. Is may I added 1.25 of zinc. So 6.25. So 2 is to 1. I don't like this one. Okay. Is ka half? Is ka half? Is ka half? Is ka half? Ka half? Half. 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 Half and half. So I think it's about water images. Um, so horizontal, vertical. Horizontal, vertical. Horizontal, vertical. Horizontal, vertical. Vertical, horizontal. I don't understand. What is this? So this is half, 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 half. But this is horizontal. So the vertical. The five is wrong. Right? Okay. What is this? What is the series? Five, 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 five. Watch. Okay. So A goes from here to here. Okay, then A goes in the niche. Then A suddenly comes over. I have no idea about this. What is this? I can see this moving here. Okay. So three it moves. One, two, three, four, five, six it moves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight it moves. So three.
थ्री देन सिक्स देन एट So it will go here and change water image. So it will be like this. So one, three, or five. One, three, or five. Second weight goes there, stays there. Second goes here, stays here. Second goes here, uh, goes here and mirror image. So second goes to the third one, mirror image. So T as it is. See, that is fine. third goes and oh, water image third goes and water image so option 3 is gone one or five one or five make a difference fifth wala element is the problem right fifth wala mein kya ho raha hai this one because goes here and uh, it becomes a uh, mirror image uh, so mirror image like this i think one is the answer don't like this question Still fine. Total number of employees in Samta Nagar 15711. Okay, funny number. Samta Nagar kya hai? Percentage wise breakup. Full time employee. Five different locations of a city. Thick. Samta Nagar 150711 are employed in private organization. Private is this one. Okay. 29% lagra meko ya pe. 29 to 61, so 32%. 150711 into 100 by 32. I don't know, it looks slightly funny, honestly. Am I right? This is 29, right? This is 62, hai kai? Yaha, 62, hai, right? So 29, 29 and 62 is 33%. Okay. Some, some number. Um, two sub, one, one, three, yeah, the 11 is 11, 2 is 33, 77, 0, 1, 3, 4 is 12, 17, 3, 5 is 15, 3, 6 is 4, 5, 6, 7. Sorry, 4, 5, 6, 7, 0, 0. How many government employees belong to Samtanagar if it is known that total number of full-time employees Kandivli is 14% more than <laughs> total number of full-time employees of Kandivli is 14 more than Samtanagar and uh, 3078 3078 in Kandivli in private okay Kandivli private kaap hai Kandivli private is this one again okay this is better I think Kitna hai? 22 22 se leke 67 22 to 67 Am I right? Kandivli private, right? Kandivli private. This is 22 for sure. And this is between this thing, 67 or 68. 67 hi hona chahiye. Yeah, 67. 22 and 67 45. Yeah, 45% is 3078. It does not seem right, but he can. So 45 is 3078. 114 is what? This is very painful. 15, 3, 1, 0, 2, 6. 15, 6 are 90. 126, 15, 8 are 120. 68.4 into 114. Okay. 9, 7, 8, 9, something is off. I don't know. Total number of full time employees of Kandivli is 14% divided by 1.14. Okay. So if 45% is 3078, what is 86%? Is that what is we're trying to say? No, I don't think this is right. I don't think, I think I'm on the right. 
total number of full time employed people who live in kandivli to number of government employees of kandivli government employees of kandivli 22% 22% of kandivli is 22% of kandivli is 44% okay 22% of kandivli is 44% of goregaon so kandivli is twice of goregaon Full time employed people who live in Kandivli to that in order to do one. Full time employed, no? yeah, I think this is right. Daisar and Rajendra Nagar, full time employed people. Daisar and Rajendra Nagar, ah, okay. Self employed people in Rajendra Nagar. Self employed people in Rajendra Nagar will be 30%. 30%. Um, government of Daisar. 30% and 28%. Total number of full time employees of Rajendra Nagar, if it is known that the number of government employees is not less than a this is painful. 50% of government employees are female and 44.44 by 9. 50% government employees. Kandi will 50% of government employees. So 22, 11% of total. Male government is 11. So 11 is to something. Male government to female private employees. Female private employees. Take it. Uh, 44 4 by 9 private employees. Either Kandivli me. Sorry, Kandivli. Kandivli private employees will be 22, 22 till 67, 45. Huh. 44 4 by 9. This is 5, 44 into 9 plus 4. So 440 minus 11, 396 plus 4, 400, 405, 40 points, 405 405, no? Four zero five. Okay, wait, let's, let me think. Uh, two half of them, right? So forty four will be less than half. Um, I don't. I'm tempted to go for eleven is to twenty three or something. not sure of this. Definitely not sure. Okay, let's see this, then we'll go to the RC and check the RC out. Okay. Okay. Tina Mina Chena uh, Bina are grandchildren of Suresh. He has married three three married sons. Each son has one daughter. Birthdays of three grandchildren, consecutive days of the month, Jan and Feb. Hina celebrated her daughter, that is Bina's. So Hina's daughter is Bina. On the last day of the month, where all the ten family members have come to celebrate. Last day of the month. Which month? We don't know. Three consecutive days, last day of the month, so 31st January. Okay. Ramesh celebrated his daughter's birthday in the month of February with all the family members. So Ramesh celebrated his daughter's birthday. So Ramesh, the daughter is Oito, we don't know what. February. Dinesh's daughter celebrated her birthday with her cousins Bina and Meena in burger moments. Dinesh, daughter, we don't know, but not on the first day of the month. So I think this is first Feb and this is second Feb. Okay. Uh, with her cousins, Bina and Meena. So this is Meena. So Bina, Meena, this is Tina. Okay. Um, Divya is Meena's aunt. So Divya is Meena's aunt. So Dinesh should have married Divya, hopefully. Suresh stays with his youngest son, Hitesh. Suresh stays with his youngest son, Hitesh. Rina and her husband. Okay. I think this is fine. 
B19. Yeah, I think it's okay. So, first February is um, uh, Rina's daughter. Niece, uncle, pair. Okay, Tina Dinesh. Tina Dinesh, no. Tina Ramesh, yes. Uh, Tina Suresh. No, Suresh, no. Suresh, no. Suresh, no. Tina uh, Ramesh is fine. Uh, Bina Hitesh, no. And Meena Ramesh, no. Who is the daughter of Hitesh? Bina. Sorry. Husband, wife, pair. Uh, the same letters, Dinesh Divya. Beautiful doll from Rina. Achha, beautiful doll achha, to their niece Bina and Tina. So Bina ko milna chahiye. Suresh's granddaughter, right? Yeah. Is an odd pair. Dinesh Tina. Okay. Suresh Hitesh. Father son Ramesh Bina. I think this one. Suresh Dinesh. Father son Hitesh Bina. So two generations. Okay, so that was that was a lucky break. You need these kind of things during the test. Uh, libertarians envision a pluralist cosmopolitan society. Kya karna hai Which of them are correct? Such a society may have certain problems, but it would also be vibrant and humane. They envision a world where people are free to experiment with different ways of living and free to try new ideas that might just be crazy enough to work. Libertarians, pluralist, commerce and travel, not divided by naturalistic antagonisms, nationalistic antagonisms. I don't know. All of them seem correct. I don't know what to say. Which one is this one? Uh, Itericized meaning. Okay. Uh, cold shoulder. Ignore. Abuse. Insult on yoga. Only see it. A good manager never keeps his employees under his thumb. Meaning, no? Harass. I don't know. B. It is the time. It is time that the politicians come down from their ivory towers. Come down from their ivory towers. Amusement parks to nahi hai. Stop thinking with their impractical world uses. Still fine. Forgo their luxurious big castles. It's not literally castles. I think only C. C is implied. B is literal. Dramatized. Kya ho ye? A word is in bold, two following sentences take the bold words meaning as given in the option. Achha, okay, okay. Which one is dramatized? I don't know what it is. Okay. But it will not dash the situation expecting this stage of bilateral relations to pass. Dramatize is sensationalize, not impersonate, not persecute. Okay. Uh, two is definitely right. Sensationalize the battle. I think sensational idea. What is this? Papaya fruit is highly perishable. 25% post harvest loss, harvest loss, further enough during storage and transportation. Scientists have developed a novel combination technology. Cubes prevent losses. I am cubes showed nearly 5%, five-fold increase in calorific value. 60 days at I think this one. I think it's too much. Yeah, I think it's too much. Course of action. Okay, mercury can be absorbed through the skin, whatever. People can also be exposed to mercury, whatever, whatever. So mercury bahut zada hai. should not be mercury, should not be consumed. If they are caught nahi hona chahiye, immediately stop nahi hona chahiye. Is not as dangerous nahi ho sakta. Workers that use mask is fine. I think this one, I don't know. Okay, what I'll do is I'll mark everything randomly now. Whatever I have missed. Okay. B, I'm marking everything B that I have missed. I don't think I'll be able to mark everything. I think I have marked most of this. 40, 40, and 50. I missed quite a few things. I think I should have done slightly better. 78. I got stuck in these things. I should not have got stuck in. Okay. I don't think I'll be able to mark everything. Okay. 
anxious moments let's see i think this is the most interesting part of the test so, okay let's see so honestly speaking i do know i would have been happy with a score of 140 plus yeah that's what it shows 141 okay so uh, i did not mark 12 if I would have marked well, I would have got maybe a couple more marks. So 141, 142 would have been possible. Uh, it is. It was. It was difficult, honestly. Not. Not exactly a very straightforward test. Uh, I think the visual reasoning bit was slightly more difficult. I'll just check once if whatever I have missed. Let's see. Okay, but but overall, I think uh, uh, LR was more or less straightforward. LR was fairly straightforward. Could have managed. Visual reasoning was, I thought it was a lot time consuming. I got stuck in maybe a couple of questions here and there, but okay, more or less could have slide, done slightly better, but that I always feel about every test. Okay, so this was fine. I thankfully I didn't waste a lot of time. So initially, if you look at it now, 56, 18, 22, 57, 43, 27. So the timing is fine. That's not an issue. Uh, I got stuck here. But I think, yeah, I got stuck in this one. I should not have done this one. The numbers were very bad. And even this one, I think, initially I got stuck. Yeah, I got stuck here for a long time. The first one I got stuck here because I had to figure out. But then the same string was not available in the other questions. I should have seen that earlier uh, because I nicely took a lot of time. 19 is fine. 20 is fine. 21, I took a lot of time and I didn't even mark it. Okay. That was disastrous. So slightly rusty, I think in the beginning, this was still fine. Some questions I did well, this, this, I took a lot of time in this set. I should not have done this. 52 seconds again, 27 is 38 seconds. I think VR was fine. I think VR, I didn't waste a lot of time. 103 is still okay. 29 is fine. 113 is okay. 30, 31, 217, 15. 48 seconds, 34 I got wrong. Okay, I got some syllogisms wrong. One syllogism I got wrong. This was the anyway I had guessed it. Not exactly a representative. I got a lot of my guesses right. It would have been even worse. Yeah, uh, 42 is wrong. Okay, guessed. Again, this was... Okay, I don't know if I got this one right. 47... Achha, this one was wrong. I, I thought it was right. Okay. 49 is wrong. Guessed it. This one, I don't know what happened. I'll just check once. This one, I think I messed up something. These are generally my stronger areas. Should not have messed this. Right angle triangle, 816. I think I was on the right track. 8 root 5 by 2. So I think that root 5, ka, this thing was uh, slightly off from my side. Must have made some calculation mistake here. Okay. 62, 63. I think I picked up some pace in, in the middle. Yeah, 30, 32, 55. This one I got stuck very badly. I should have should have got this one. Sum of root 7 by 2 and uh, 25 by 2. This was fine. 1 by p square minus 51 by 625 was fine. 4 by 625 was fine. Required equation is minus of minus 51. So 51 x should have been there. Okay, oh, so this was 576. So there was a mistake in the rendering of the question. This should not have been 576. This should have been 51. I should have thought of it, even if I was guessing it. I missed this one. But okay. But I spent 246 here. 56, 31, 32, 55, 67. Uh, this one we saw, not. This one, 23 seconds. I got it wrong. Uh, I got it wrong. I don't know why I got it wrong. I thought whatever was not marked was, huh, part that was not filled. What did I do? I did some mistake, major mistake, right? Achha. fourth, what, what did I do in the fourth one? Oh, this was not a triangle. I didn't see it properly. Take 78. No, I don't I didn't like that question. I took 135 here. Yeah. 79. 
अच्छा this one this one is a restatement i think maybe that's why it's not a conclusion theek hai so reverse and uh, reverse of that uh, if y then x ka reverse will not work if not x then not y will not theek hai i i i didn't know this honestly theek hai this one to was a disaster i don't know what i did some 349 i wasted here 26 again I, i just try to do first sentence i think was right so that was at least right so i got one mark i should have guessed that thing so basically i do this small thing when we have these things but obviously i'm out of touch big time uh, but um, if you have a para jumble you can mark one opening statement or the closing statement as your answer for sure because that is generally the easiest one to spot and the rest you can guess the same option so everything is a d let's say for example uh, as in not the option d the statement d And D D D D D. So one of them will definitely be right. You will get two marks within a matter of a minute or so. So I should not have wasted a lot of time. This one. Hundred and Gar was not at work. Which one? Blank four. This guy's name was Petters. Was it? I don't know. Petters was right. I do. I didn't know what the meaning of Petters was. Okay. I'll explore. Hundred and six. Oh, how did I get this wrong? I don't know. L P two is the only case. Okay. I got one more. Copyright H three ne tha, L P two was the case. I I thought I got something here. Four Q five, four Q five is also fine, right? I think four Q five should also be right here. Okay, doesn't matter. Hundred and six, hundred and twelve. Forty seven seconds is a good thing. Either either one or something. One of the statements, yeah. One of the statements was fine. Hundred and thirteen. This I was not sure. Acha, not sure. Hundred and eighteen. Oh, I messed up this one. I don't know. Two twenty one is thirteen into seventeen. Thirteen into five. So I thought the remainder would be two in both the cases. So B is two for sure. A is twenty six. Oh, oh, I forgot to multiply it by thirteen. I got cancelled. This was a miss. Should have multiplied by thirteen. This is okay. I don't know. Honestly, I I didn't really see this. Okay, this one I I didn't know. I thought all curves get reverse except the curve in the middle and the top right. Ha, this I didn't see. I thought all of them will. Uh, so basically, if it's two three, then it will become three two, and only one was not satisfied. Fair enough. One thirty, I guessed. One thirty four. One thirty four, I guess. One thirty five, I guess. One thirty seven, I guess. One thirty eight, I guess. This was fine. So I think this was the time when I got a lot of things right. So two two minutes, two minutes again. Thirty eight, fifty six, fifty five, and one forty five. One forty five, I got right. One fifty four, one fifty five. Oh, I don't think I. I now I got this wrong. Option A is the only one that is similar in meaning. What did I mark? Oh, अच्छा cannot था क्या? Yeah, silly mistake again. I marked which one was similar. I didn't mark this one. Was it the same for the next one as well? Cannot replace. Yeah. So I marked A and C. So the answer should have been only B. I, again, two two silly mistake. This was guess what? Pure guess what? All of these were guesses. Guesses. Well, I don't know why I got this one wrong. This one I thought was right. One is to three is to one. Well, you hemisphere, right? Oh, I didn't see hemisphere. Okay. I didn't see hemisphere. One seventy three, I think, was guessed. Yeah. This I didn't even was not able to attempt as well. One eighty three. 
I don't know. Eleven is to twenty-five. Okay. Yeah. Eleven. I got twenty-three or twenty-five. I was not sure. And it was very. I I couldn't figure out what this ratio was. Okay. It was a stupidity. Tha. Maape. So this four by nine would have been eleven point one one. So four forty-four point four four. So. फैक्ट्रीजिंग मर्क्यूर और इट्स कंपाउंड करके Dentist should immediately stop using an adequate protection. So no precaution is. No, I don't know. I don't know. Fourth option. Twenty twenty. I didn't. Actually, I should have attempted this. I didn't even see this for some reason. Cities which have low population to police ratio have better law and order and have more civic safety. Thus, when I retire, I plan to set, uh, settle down in a less populous city. तो लेस पॉपुलर सिटी में इट्स नॉट ने लो पॉपुलेशन टू पुलिस रेशियो नंबर ऑफ पुलिस मैन तो नहीं होना चाहिए स्मॉल डजन इंश्योर स्मॉल पुलिस दिस वन आई थिंक सी दिस वन सी शुड बी आंसर आई गेस नॉट शुड शुड आई वॉट इट बट ठीक है फेर इनफ सो अगेन मॉरल ऑफ द स्टोरी डोंट टेक अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम एटलीस्ट नो विच क्वेश्चन टेक अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम गजलर्स and obviously then then uh, not attempt those questions as priority during the test uh, i think i missed my way slightly in some of the visual reasoning questions and some of those uh, di or lr sets uh, especially in that input output thing series question uh, input uh, sorry sequential output question wherein uh, there were two or three different strings that were there right so i should not have gotten into those things i should have maybe looked at it before i got into that set that was one thing and otherwise it was okay some silly mistakes from mine could have been 150 plus but i think it's okay for this level of difficulty i think it's okay it was slightly i would say more difficult compared to last couple of years of cet uh, 2020 say it was easier uh, but uh, last couple of years 21 22 if you look at it it was slightly on the easier side honestly so yeah i think i think that was about it 188 i think i attempted and uh, Sorry. Yeah, one eighty-eight. I think I attempted out of which. I I think I guessed some twenty twenty or questions towards the end. Twenty or twenty-five. I think I uh, guessed. So twenty-five, twelve, thirty, thirty-five questions. I guessed one sixty-five attempted. So I think it was a fair attempt. Uh, in actual CETs, my attempts go up to one seventy, one seventy-five, one eighty generally. Uh, in these twenty, 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 nineteen kind of tests. But uh, okay, fair enough. Okay, so I'll close the session in a bit. I hope all of you had fun watching the uh, watching the entire life solving process, uh, and I hope you take some confidence from this to your test as well. People who are doing well in the SIMCA in SIMCET, sorry, and who are scoring better than this, obviously you you have a head start uh, over I don't know a seven time ninety nine point nine nine percent Tyler. So that is what you have. uh so make sure that you continue with the momentum for people who don't uh, who aren't scoring in this particular range uh, i hope you understood how to go about the test and obviously the things the mistakes that i committed hopefully you will not repeat the same mistakes uh, in the actual test so i hope that part will get sorted theek okay? hai so thank you everybody for turning up i hope some of you were there throughout the entire duration of the uh, test and for those of you who are watching the recording or have watched the recording again let me know in the comment section below uh, in the in the video itself if there is something that you need some clarification on some clarity on uh, something some decisions that i might have taken that you might not agree to uh, let me know if there is something that i can uh, throw some light on theek hai chalo thank you everyone um, and again all the best for the actual test and i'll maybe see you again with some some last minute tips and some last minute gyan when it comes to the seat theek hai all right thank you everyone i'll close the session now